everybody! Welcome back. It's DevStream 173, our first DevStream back since Tenocon. 2023. <laughs> Interesting group of folks oh, over there. That's a Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we wish. We wish. Yeah, we wish. We really do wish. Oh, man, the circus must be in town. The am circus I right? is in town. Yeah. yeah. Now, we have uh, a lovely crew, a uh, bunch of people on this couch. So, why don't we just get right to it with introductions that I forgot to do during I don't even know their lives? Names. Let's just find out. Who are you? Sir? You know who I am. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Starting it off. Okay. All right. Let's go, Geffen. Hi, I'm Jeff. <laughs> what you Hi, doing? I'm Steve. Hi. I'm Megan. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm Pablo. We work on a uh, couple different games, we but at the same we time, we work at digital together. extreme games. We work at digital extremes, <laughs> making games, uh, and we are going to hey, talk. I put in my work. You you did. You did. I, put in my work. I know. You did. I know. We have lots. I of worked hard on those broken mods. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> oh, hey. that, yeah. oh, sorry, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, before we jump in to what is probably going to be a bit of a longer stream, I'm not going to lie. We're going to try our best to we keep it... tricked. I, <laughs> <laughs> I told you one hour ago exactly that it might be a long stream. Oh, uh, we might be here just for maybe a bit over an hour, uh, but we'll see. Get comfortable, get your snacks, get your hydration. Uh, we will be on the test build today. We are going to be showing off, as we mentioned during Tunnel Live, everything Abyss of Dagoth related, all of the... Dagoth. <sighs> Dagoth. 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 Yep. Well, f who knows? Uh, we'll <laughs> find out. Luckily, in-game pronouncement is... Luckully, Grandmother yep. will pronounce yep. it correctly for yep. us eventually. We'll find out. Um, we will be in the test build today, so you might see some PH stuff, some work in progress stuff, but we'll walk you through it. Um, it ex it's actually... Obviously, it's Thursday, so it's a double stream today. So we'll have this stream and then prime times later on with myself as well, so <laughs> you'll see me twice. <laughs> myself and Zach. Uh, you just got to do it straight, because this yeah, one's I'm just going to stay here. Yeah. I'm not moving. Uh, the Twitch drop for today's stream is a bag of Tau Forged Archon shards. Not only could you get one, you could get two. Which I was like, I don't know if that's, that's a lot of shards, but that means if you've endured what could be a two hour stream, you deserve two Tau Forged Archon exactly. shards. It's exactly. A, it's a grab bag, so you don't know what one you're going to get. Exactly. There's obviously the three that you, you know, could pick from, and you're going to get two of those for... If you watch the whole time. If you watch the whole time. <laughs> start to finish, you will get two. You're trapped with us. Yeah. Now, is it true that you you might have injured yourself? Nope. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't know what is, it, there's, is that a glove? Or, like, I'm, I, I can't it's quite... A it's a style statement. It's, oh, really? Yeah. So it's like a new fashion accessory to get a cast yeah, on your wrist actually. that you broke? Yeah. And, and is it true that Megan actually gave away how that happened? It is true. On a Megan prime on time. time. Yeah. It is also the gossip stream, apparently. But has it has it been said on a dev stream? No, though? because it happened between Tenocon and now. So okay. would you All like right. to tell the people? No, I don't think it's important. Just don't drink it. You were so <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're so focused on Warframe as a thing yeah. that you had to break it doing something re Warframe related. Yeah, Limbo is my favorite Warframe. <laughs> <laughs> and I was doing the Limbo dance, and I fell. And I broke my wrist and tore my ligaments. Makes sense. No one can say you're not dedicated. Okay. Exactly. You'd already won, though. I had a... Stop! No one needs to know! <laughs> <laughs> it was just yeah, a big finale. Yeah. The story is that she had already won. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's so. the real winner? You. Exactly. You. You'll actually see that I'm using this to my advantage this stream. And I'm looking forward to revealing. Yes. Yeah, oh, interesting yes, mm. yes. Interesting priority Anyways, shift have an hour, in the development. Anyways, you only have an hour, my friends. Yeah, go, 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 go. Moving go. right along. Okay, okay, okay sorry. Moving right along. Uh, we also have Gift of the Lotus Alerts. Those go, will go live at 3 p.m. like they normally do for 24 hours. We have a Riven Cypher and a Melee Riven because in this update, we have two new Melees coming. I didn't even plan that. I just... Hey! So maybe subconsciously. Good segue, yeah. Thank you. Uh, and... Obviously, it's September 28th right now, but September 30th will mark the third year that Canadians observe National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. Mm -hmm. The day honors the First Nations, Inuit, and Métis survivors of the residential school system. And Digital Extremes recognizes this day and has actually donated towards the Atlausa Family Healing Services located here in London. Yeah. And they provide Indigenous mental wellness programs, 24-hour emergency women's shelter, and so much more. So if you do feel inclined to donate during this time, you can do exclamation point truth in Twitch chat and donate. So we thank you in advance. Yes, thank you. All right, like we, we mentioned at the top of the hour, 
TennoCon 2023 happened. Yeah. How do we feel? It's been a month? It's been exactly it's a month. Crazy, though. It it's been yeah. like only yeah. one month. August 28th was TennoCon 2023. It is September 28th. It's been one month. The big lesson I learned is that we don't need to go all out for TennoCon anymore and just let Pablo show a quality of life slide. <laughs> and say hi to I've never heard of no. crowd pop. The high tech <laughs> reworks. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, yeah. how do we follow that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Six you months grind on Soul yeah. Frame, and it's like, here's a quality of life slide. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give the people what they want. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. But really, how are we feeling? One month after, we're back at the grind, like we're, <laughs> we're back in it again. How are we feeling? Amazing. Really, yeah. really, really good. You always get yeah. super scared and anxious for those days, and then mm -hmm. it just goes like that. You get to meet so many people. It's great to feel really old when someone says, I started playing when I was in high school, and oh now I God. have a career. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> God, <laughs> just withering away before them. But mm -hmm. yeah, I just, I, the in-person is such a different energy. I love it yeah. so much. It's so good for the studio to go mm -hmm. through that again because yep. it's yep. been so many years. And we had so new cool people and, yeah. that were just, you know, in the crowd experiencing mm -hmm. the an outpouring of energy and love and appreciation for what they did. So it's really, it's great for adrenaline and mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. for uh, morale for everyone. Yeah. yeah, I think there were some highlights for sure. I Like for me, it was probably my favorite TennoCon ever <laughs> just because we got to do so. Every time I look at the screen, you were crying. <laughs> you <laughs> had a cry that day. in your <laughs> head. You're just like, ah! <laughs> like tears of joy, but yeah. you're just like crying. I was like, yeah. what happened? It's just a lot. It's a lot of good feelings and the team together and the community together. And I know Danielle was happy that we had gummy worms this year and I knew that that for me, from my point of view, getting the gummy worm. Oh, no! I, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to catch Did you plan that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch Maybe it. you should have told Megan. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Do, are you jealous? Do you want to bet? Uh, if I get hit in the head? Yeah, maybe. If I have to make Danny throw it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> get, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, you have one in your hat? I got lots of tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> It's kind of warm and <laughs> I'm not sure I like this. Yeah, um, but yeah, uh, it was a great time con. <laughs> I don't even know how to proceed. The Bowman Boss Crawlers too. Yeah. That's like so guy. hilarious. <laughs> Uh, we had a, uh, a really great, like, honestly, still buzzing from it. I'm so happy that we got to show what we're working on. And we're going to spend the rest of the year, like, today we're going to talk about the Degoth update what's coming in October, and we're really going to deep dive into that update. Mm -hmm. We probably have over an hour of things to talk with you guys about in the community for that update. Favorite TennoCon ever for me. You know, really fun to see everyone. The team is the biggest it's ever been, yep. and we're working on more than we've ever been working on. I was very happy. I think the only thing that could have made it a perfect TennoCon is if we didn't have the heirloom situation go as it did. Yeah. So I'm just kind of going to speak from the heart here on mm -hmm. that. For me, sure. that was really the only thing that I wish we handled a lot differently. And for, you know, if we continue with the heirloom program next year, we are going to be making pretty radical changes based on feedback. Uh, you know, the skins visually people love, but the way we rolled them out really missed the mark for a lot of people. So we did make some changes uh, and we will next year for next year's TennoCon, if we do an heirloom V2, we absolutely are going to be pretty ra pretty radical changes for, mm -hmm. you know, how we're going to release those. So if that hadn't had, had the reaction it did, it would have been a perfect day, but yep. obviously we make mistakes. Uh, I'm not saying that, you know, holistically everything with heirlooms was a mistake, but there was clearly some things that just did not make people happy. Uh, mm -hmm. And the adjustments we did make, honestly, we gave a reasoning in the forum post about how we felt we could fix things and still honor the promises of what people actually bought. Mm -hmm. So from there, that's, you know, V1 heirloom, next year will be <coughs> V2 heirloom uh, once we get ourselves in a position to commit to it and decide if the com if we think the community would like a complete refresh of of the pack mm -hmm. and skins for a different uh, a different batch next year I should say so mm -hmm. yeah yeah I think the I, I can see in chat people talking about FOMO but also like people obviously love the skins themselves they're just amazing well, that's the thing yeah, right and yeah. that's why you know and uh, yeah, I, it's so, so I think it's just tuning that stuff and you're you're yeah. good to go yeah yeah awesome mm -hmm. I look I just yeah I knew it was coming when the the vessel was there. I knew it was coming, and then the music. Oh, the tenor, the, we're yeah, back and, to the demo. Okay, just, we're back to the demo. Just, okay. oh, yeah, what do you mean? I just you knew it there. was coming. You didn't warn me. And then the Nine Inch Nails, and I was just like, oh, because everyone was loving it. Yeah. But I was just, just your way, just your way. <laughs> yep. The biggest scheme of yep. 
and then Bait obviously and uh, Megan killed it with the playthrough, oh. which is always a huge yeah. amount of pressure. <laughs> Megan, I mean, Danny, throw that trophy for no. me. No. <laughs> no. I, can't no. I can't see, so I don't know. Like, throw that javelin. Got that sword? <laughs> some people think that uh, it, they're watching a video and they're not. Like we oh, always yeah. try to show you the game. We always show you the real stuff. A lot of people thought the Soul Frame was like a, a video edit, and it wasn't. It was um, Sarah and Joey, Joey playing it live, and then just the amount of rehearsal, as you mm -hmm. know, and your people are tuning it and changing the demo and tweaking it, and you're like, ah, you know, don't look left when you're supposed yeah. to look right, and <laughs> all that shit. It's just uh, it's intense. Yeah. Maybe someone will send you a lot of notes about Grimoire and what you could and could not <laughs> 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 oh, no. Don't sprint, don't strafe, don't do anything. Oh so my god. Don't, when, you're, when you have it, don't move. Don't look when you move. And I'm like, what? Uh, it, it, and uh, uh, doing a good demo is almost like sort of being an actor. Like, yeah. go in here, mm -hmm. then walk. Yeah, then beats. casually look right, but don't look right too fast. Because yeah. then Poor people bag. will think you're anticipating it. Yeah. And the same thing, like, Soul Frame, obviously, with the, the smaller team, and the last minute was like, we were saying to Joey, like, don't hit Garen when he's doing a special attack, mm. or you'll break his entire animation yeah. set. Needless to say, all of these games are ready to ship, and sweat, none of these sweat, concerns sweat, are sweat, real. Sweat, <laughs> sweat, sweat, yeah, it's sweat. fine. <laughs> yep. yeah, it was a great day. Well, you know, yeah. buckle up for next year, but we have a lot of things in between. Yeah, a lot of great things. This is going to be a long stream exactly. already. We're already, what, 11 minutes in? Stop! Ooh. Go, go, go. Uh, <laughs> I'm not off TennoCon yet. Um, oh, no. One thing we also did, obviously, we were celebrating 10 years. We also teamed up with King's Coast Coffee to do what? Warframe Lotus Blend Beans. Let me smell those Wait beans. Wait a second. Those Wait a second. Beans. I didn't those know this. There you go. I want some go. coffee. No! You could. Uh, Han picked. Wait, are you opening it? I want to smell it. Yeah. My boss told me to. <laughs> <laughs> How do I smell the beans? You gotta rip it open. Uh, yeah, someone someone, the someone throw coffee <laughs> next time. Yeah, whip it at me. No, whip it at no, me. No, I'll I'll catch it with my broken hand. I refuse. I refuse. You've already got one so broken. We collaborated with King's Coast it. Coffee uh, so for cool. our 10 year anniversary blend, the yep. Lotus Blend. Uh, it's hand selected by the team here at DE, which was actually me, given Which's four. Me? No. Oh. You were a coffee nut, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if you picked this. They gave this. me four blind bags of okay, beans and yes. told me nothing about them, okay. and I just tasted all of them. And th I picked one, and they were like, that's an interesting choice. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, is that okay? So anyways, they are delicious beans. I've uh, had it. Cool. I guess you would say this whole stream is full of beans. <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation point coffee if you would like to here? get your That's beans. Brutal, <laughs> brutal. Uh, we have, do have a limited supply. So exclamation point coffee if you want to get yourself some Lotus Blend, have a little cup of coffee with the, the Warframe crew. Even just like the, the art and stuff. It's I think, cool, eh? Yeah, like the t media team did a great job on all that stuff. It's so cool. Yeah. Can I smell it though? We couldn't actually get it open. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Use those muscles. Okay. You can and really this is rip selected it. by you. This, this is your is flavor my profile. My selection. <laughs> okay. That's I my had a very jazzed up afternoon when I made four <laughs> different <laughs> kinds of coffee and had to taste test them all. Okay. It was a lot. I noticed you all didn't right. let anyone else participate in that. Yep. Did you want to come to my house and drink some coffee? Yeah. What would I want more <laughs> in life? <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. Okay. You're right. I'm so sorry. Okay. Moving on okay, from moving this, I'll just work on opening this. Uh, last but not least, TennoCon related. If you were there, obviously watched it, you'll know that we had a first time ever live symphony performance oh, of yeah. the DeVere music. It was yep. beautiful, it was stunning, it was incredible. Uh, we recently got news that the Kitchener Waterloo Symphony, who are the orchestra individuals doing that DeVere music, recently abruptly filed for bankruptcy to the surprise of all of our musicians, which was really unfortunate, yep. really sad, and DE has you know, donated to support those musicians, but if you also feel compelled to do the same to support our lovely DeVere musicians as well as all the other musicians as part of the Kitchener Waterloo Symphony, you can do exclamation point symphony in Twitch chat. It will send you a link to their GoFundMe if you feel the need to support them. Um, you know, they did an incredible job at TennoCon and we just hope that they can obviously get back on their feet and make some yeah. more incredible music because they are absolutely incredible musicians and we love them. Yeah, and supporting the arts, I think uh, if you can, that would be amazing. Are you... <laughs> did I do yep. a good job? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Yeah, beans. They smell great. They smell incredible. Yeah. They taste better. Okay, wow, All right. okay. Moving on to... <laughs> Coffee nerds. What's next? October <laughs> is a... everyone tuned in. <laughs> October is a big month. We have a lot of things going on. We'll get into the Abyss of Degoth update, but we also have some in-person things happening. Uh, the community team 
We are headed to Las Vegas, Nevada for none other than TwitchCon 2023 and returning to our roots, Tenno VIP 2023. Oh, look that's at cool. That. What? No way. Hey, uh, look at all our friends. Apparently no, we, we did, did not. not get invited. So even though you're in the asset, I... you're not going. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for your picture. Uh, we are going to be throwing Tenno VIP 2023. If you're unfamiliar with what this means, it basically is the community team going to an event renting out a restaurant or whatever it may be and just having a really good time with our community there'll be prizes i might give away a legendary core because i have no boundaries uh, we'll, we'll see what <laughs> happens in vegas, <laughs> Days <of> vegas. <laughs> uh, it is a free event it's going to be happening on october 21st it's going to be at the paris hotel we rented a ballroom it's going to be abyss of de goth themed i have a cardboard cutout of de goth because she doesn't have a head and oh do players like, get to put her face yes. in it oh. i'm so excited i'm so excited oh my god i can't wait to be there <laughs> 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 you can wear a costume, get spooky. It's going to be a really fun time. You can do exclamation point, <gasps> Tenno VIP. Someone should dress up as Steve, so it's like Steve is there. Ah, oh, some Steve mm -hmm. cosplay. Yeah, because that's easier than inviting me. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One less plane ride. Exclamation point, Tenno VIP, if you would like uh, to RSVP your tickets. We do have a limited amount. We have a limited amount of space. Please only RSVP if you know you're going. Yes. Like, please. Please and thank please. you. If you're going to be in the TwitchCon area of Las Vegas yep. and you want to come to Tenno VIP on the Saturday, please come. Would love to see you, hang out with you. We're going to try and get back to these next year because uh, we're, you know, back in that traveling the realm of the world, I guess. Uh, but this is the start of it. So we're excited to be back. TwitchCon as well. We'll be walking around, mm -hmm. hanging out. And if you do go to Las Vegas and you go to Magic Mike, it's not a strip show, okay? It's acrobatics and dance. <laughs> Okay. And they give you fake money, which was so. Stop! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, also, I tried to pretend your trip was respectable, Megan, and you ruined it. Fake money is respectable. Uh, moving along, we lost nothing. We gained everything. Moving along. Uh, also in October, this is a, although it's spooky month and we have really fun things happening. It's also a very special month for Warframe and Digital Extremes because we have our Quest to Conquer Cancer campaign awesome. that will be running mm -hmm. for the entire month of October. Okay. We're going to be raising money toward the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation, which is actually located right down the road in Toronto. And you're going to be unlocking special rewards for yourself. As you can see, we have the incredible Conquera collection of items. And I actually am in game right now, Danny, if you want to flop on over here. Right I on. have my self decked out uh, in all of the Conquer items. So obviously we have previous years, we have the chest ribbon, we have the shoulders, and then what is going to be unlocked this year if you reach the incentive is the leg armor, which will complete the Conquer collection for Quest to Conquer Cancer. And of course, you know, we'll have other fun incentives Please along the way. Please tell me you're showing the UI. Not yet. I'm getting there. Oh, right. yeah. okay. I'm so sorry. I'm God. so sorry. Uh, we have some beautiful display by fan artist Melee Bun that could be yours. We have beautiful. a new glyph and sigil. Awesome. We have a new Verminc flute. Ooh. Oh, that's the in-game version right there on my floor. Okay. And then we have IRL version. This was actually voted by you guys last year on what floof you guys wanted to see for this year's campaign. And you got the Verminc. So there you go, Steve. Yeah. Oh, that's thank you. you. You're welcome. And there's a tumbler. I can play with my... Our, we have the toque. Oh, it is a very exciting time uh, to be a Warframer. And as well, as Reb mentioned, the UI theme. I don't know if you've seen this yet. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> I have. Oh, wow. Yeah. We Look at that. New yeah. Conquera theme and background, and it works exquisitely uh, with m other themes as oh well. Oh, my God. Oh, it is so good. Yeah, that's, that is. Oh, oh my God. It's so good. <laughs> it's beautiful. Another incentive for just the entire month campaign of October. That's it's going to awesome. be kicking off on October 2nd. Um, Danny and myself will do a, a lovely little kickoff stream on Monday and get you all up to speed with what the incentives are and how the month is going to play out with our awesome creators doing their Quest to Conquer Cancer streams. It's going to be another epic month. Very excited for it. Uh, so we'll see you October 2nd for that. That's great. That's going to be so good. Mm -hmm. Also in October, Tenotober. Uh, if you are an artist and you enjoy uh, Inktober, this is Warframe's version of it, where we do really awesome Warframe prompts for your artists. So what's the first prompt? Do we know? I can tell you in you 25 seconds. Off, no? I actually do have art for everyone, so we'll, we'll get there. Reb's doodling. The first prompt of October 1st is portal. Portal. Mm. Mm. OK. Think I'll with portals. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, OK. Mm, yes, very well. Mm -hmm. 
also happening in October. <laughs> uh, typically, we do Knights of Navarus. So Knights of Navarus is going to return. It's our spooky uh, thematic event with Daughter. Uh, she has a lovely store. She's morbidly dressed. She's got music. It's a really good time. She will have some lovely things for sale for you. One of the things, uh, we have a bunch of Day of the Dead stuff that's coming. We also have new glyphs. Thank you, Danny. Uh, the bottom right one of uh, Lotus and the Cat is going to be in Daughter's store, and the other four will be in the market if you want to pick those up. Uh, so you can have a little spooky glyph for your profile. As well, we do have some cosmetics coming. We have a brand new sign, Dana, that is very... Yes. Very oh, spooky, there, Red. Okay, uh, what uh, am I looking at it's, here? Yeah. It's half a bat wing. This is <laughs> driving me nuts. It's so cool. Yeah, the wing so, is so look at cool. it. Ooh. Oh. So, as you can see, the right wing has been shredded, impaled with arrows, but the left wing remains intact as it struggles for its last gasp at life. Oh, as though it has been torn <laughs> from the very viscera of the darkest recesses of your mind. Reminds me of Vegas, right? <laughs> Are wow. you a beat poet now? Yeah. Like, what is yeah. happening? Do you see the parade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have a very exciting uh, Halloween themed things. Many, many things indeed. Now that one is really cool. Yeah. But not wow, only that, we also cool have some design. sentinel accessories. Oh, ah, yeah. yes. Look at the little <laughs> spooky guy. <laughs> Here we have the Cavum <laughs> Sentinel accessory, so we can look at this little, he's got a knife in his head. Oh, yes. man. He has been stabbed by a, I think that's a kunai Looks or a like despair. Looks like a kunai, yeah. 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 Yes. Okay, yep. Someone got sick of their companion dying over and over again and decided to end its misery by <laughs> oh, a lobotomy, oh. so. Nice. Amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Rem. Uh, <laughs> as well, this is coming, this, what I'm gonna show you next is not Knights of Navras, but it is coming in the Abyss of Degoth update, uh, which we'll obviously get into. Um, but we have a lotus Yeah, skin. I guess I have a couple tricks oh. up oh, my sleeve. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's not medically what advised at all. <laughs> Where, this is my good ideas creative direction sheet. Mm. Really? And I thought- It's sort of sweaty in your cast like that? Vampire plus lotus equals happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Lotus? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay, so let's that's take great. a look. We have the Nabarus Lotus skin. So, for those of you that have been um, playing Warframe through a lot of our Halloween events, the uh, Lotus sometimes looks like a vampire. She has blood on her face, her skin turns this ghoulish <laughs> blue. So, we'll have a, uh, a Nabarus Lotus skin uh, that will have the blood detail there. So, you could permanently, you could permanently have uh, Nabarus Lotus there as a skin. Yeah. So, so, just true. taking a question from Chad, I know that we're not doing that. Rebecca, why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just pull off my thinking cap. <laughs> oh, oh no, there's we more? Have, we have more notes for the oh, stream. God. Okay. Oh Our no, I'm, I'm sorry I asked. It's currently I'm almost 2.30, so we're gonna just okay, move right along here. Okay, accelerate, accelerate. Uh, all right, it's time for what you have all been waiting for, and that is to talk about the update, oh, yeah. Abyss of Degoth. Rev, what do you got? This is Abyss of Degoth. Oh, lovely. Okay. Degoth. Can this anyone even read that? I can. Not really. That's all. <laughs> Not really. Very well. All right, we're going to get into everything that Abyss of the Goth is bringing. That includes, you know, the new Warframe, our 54th Warframe. That includes all of the quality of life. That mm. includes everything in between. So are you ready? I am ready. Okay, yep. update. This is update 34. It's a full number update. There is a lot. We are going to walk you through all the content that's coming this October for Warframe. Let's start. Danny, jump on in, shall we? Yeah. We love to see it. All right, here she is. Dagath. Dagath? Dagath? You choose. Now, in my uh, hat of many ideas, one of my creative direction highlights in my career so far was there was a debate. Should we keep her thighs thick? And of course, I had to settle this dispute in base camp in an official capacity by saying, keep the big thighs. So that was a very exciting career highlight for me. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, rate to HR with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's important. All right, so here we have the goth in her default thick thigh form. <laughs> She's coming with two idle animations. What? This is one what of them. Is she has no face. It's very exciting. She will also be coming with an alternate helmet. This is the, I'm going to say it wrong, Gansian. Oh, that's, Gen that's actually. It is sorry. stunning. Uh, yep. Stunning work. If you ever wanted to be a unicorn, no brainer. Huh. 
I'm trying to rival you. No <laughs> brainer. <laughs> oh, That's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> and this is yep. their alternate helmet that will be coming uh, with the update as well. This ephemera is a tease for something later. Stay tuned for that. Very cool, sort of witchy, blind witchy vibes. Yeah. Love yeah. that. Yeah, we're really, we're, yeah, we'll talk more about our themes and stuff once we get a look for her, but yep. Megan has a lot to show us with her customizations. Cool. Yeah. I did a little bit of fashion frame. Jeff, what do we uh -oh. think? So far, so, so good. So far, you're. Well, the first two were neutral. Being pretty restrained. Yeah, I'm yeah. Impressed, yeah, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. So far. So far. <laughs> I told you earlier. <laughs> yeah. I had some good stuff. For I know you, you did. Well, this one. Confident. Yeah, you're. It still new, works. With the new bat yeah. sign, Dana. Oh yeah, that is a winner. Right now, that yeah. is a winner. All right, don't do either. Okay, but don't do either. You're on a screen. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. I tried to make her look like a horse. She's got her tail. She's got her mane. She's a unicorn. Come on, Jack. Now I Come do. On. I do That's have. Funny. to... So I have to interject here. Of Skyers, course. who um, sculpted uh, mm -hmm. and converted to goth yep. from the male concept to a female frame, cool, yeah. provided some screenshots as well for a more artistic approach to some fashion frames. So, Danny, the first one is Ouch. like the Skyers yeah. special. Cool to you, isn't it? Pretty cool. Yeah, okay. Yep. Looking nice like pose. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then because de goth. I'm nervous about where this is going. You'll see. <laughs> Do it, Danny. Because <laughs> she's like the head. <laughs> she is inspired by a lot. Of horsemen. Yeah. And of course, the um, Delahan Hunt. Pretty cool. Helmet will be coming back, so mm -hmm. you can you can have your headless horseman. Skyers, I can't compete with you, Skyers. I don't even try. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Degoth, our 54th Warframe. We are going to do a little bit of gameplay in a minute that will feature her brand new signature blade and whip, the door clave. Damn it, door clave. Door clave. The door clave. <laughs> uh, and it does have. You can screenshot that if you wish. We're going to talk a little bit later about its uh, special trait cool. uh, Back to that. in the quality of life section of this update, but we're going to just skip over that for a moment. Uh, and we're going to go right into some gameplay. Yeah, so with Dagoth, uh, or Dagoth, we really <laughs> wanted to try and do a seasonal theme, but with a, obviously a permanent Warframe. And you were like, she's, she's part of the game. So we wanted to look for some references we had from some of Keith's work for something that really felt horror, and we found his Ichabod I'm sketch. I'm sure it was really hard to find. Yeah, I know. All this <laughs> stuff is so not body horror. So we found this uh, original concept back that we showed you at Tenocon. I uh, love this concept. Yeah, and then I'm so glad it's made. Uh, and then we created Dagoth. And what was really important, I think, for you know, as we get through her abilities, is the idea of an undead vengeance, curses, and a lot of damage. So for her abilities, we wanted. Well, you'll see her ultimate may or may not incorporate the uh, Assault of Cades, because her lore is all going to be given to you in the context of a Nabarus tale, which we'll talk about a bit after. Ooh. But uh, you'll, you'll get to see some of that. But for Dagoth, uh, her first ability is Word Sights. This is a um, radial from you. You're getting these kind of spectral sides that will target enemies. So you can see here, you can, you can cast it. You'll get a big spin of those Word Sides, dealing damage targeting enemies and then flying off. So this is kind of your initial damage burst with her, uh, where you'll be getting those word sides. And you mean viral. And viral damage type, yes. Cool. Now, her kit is really uh, focusing around, which will shock you, we have never used an ability called Doom before in Warframe. <laughs> so her second, so her first ability is Word Sights. It's doing viral damage. It's uh, cleaning areas around uh, Dagoth, and then off you go to target enemies. But once you cast Doom, it's going to be a cone in front of Dagoth, and it's cursing enemies. So these enemies are doomed. The curse lasts a duration. And these cursed enemies get what we're calling uh, the Phantom Wrath Curse. So she has a cone in front of her. She's hitting enemies with doom. If you hit your uh, one, your word scythe on them, it'll do additional damage. It'll do more instances of that Phantom Wrath Curse, which creates this sickle over their head that does it additional damage instances. So once you see that sickle above their head on those doomed enemies, as you're hitting them with their word scythe, you're really going to be spreading a curse and delivering continued damage in the form of uh, doom and in the form of that word scythe. Oh, we got some enemies up here. <laughs> Just like Hades, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Curses are for the, the Tenno. Uh, then we have Grave Spirit, which is kind of her damage buff and survivability ability. So Megan, if you've, you've pressed three, mm -hmm. you have your Grave Spirit on. If you die while this is active, I'm potential. I'm trying to die. So, <laughs> Megan has died. She's now taking a spectral form, which is a cool. instance in where you're kind of truly a grave spirit. This has a timer, and then once this uh, wears down, you will have this ability on cooldown. So this is very much a, uh, you know, 
while you have it active, if you were to face death, you will enter this uh, Grave Spirit realm, and then you'll come back, and then that ability is on cooldown. However, with Grave Spirit, you get crit damage buffs. So you are doing uh, increased critical when you have it active, and if you're hitting enemies with that Phantom uh, Wrath Curse, which is achieved via the Doom ability, it's that big build synergy. So we want to Doom them. You want to have your three up, which is called uh, Grave Spirit, and you're just kind of going to be cycling through, keeping that active, <coughs> doing more crit, cursing enemies with the Doom, and then your one is obviously going to cascade damage in all that uh, rotation. And now for the ultimate. You ready? Well, I don't know. Do we need a quick recap of all the abilities so far? If you press one, you'll get your word sites. Pr press two, and then you'll do your doom, which will do the curse. And then three is your your crits are now enhanced. And if you attack people that have that curse on them, you'll do additional crit damage. And of course, in this state, if you die, you'll enter the phantom, uh, the spirit grave realm. And then the ultimate, uh, this is based on her lore that you'll learn from grandmother. This is called Rakali's Calvary, which why don't you just uh, hit it up? Summon a charge of caves. Rakali was Dagoth's loyal companion. You'll learn about her. Cool. Actually, why don't you hop on? Uh, oh, uh, why don't I? Yeah. As you know, in open worlds, you can, uh, you know. Yeah, so this is uh, her um, custom cave cosmetics that Rakali had adorned on her. So currently, Megan's cave has uh, these cosmetics, which you'll see will be Rakali's. Uh, so yeah, so what to say? There's a lot of damage um, multipliers here if you're using synergies of that Doom Curse on enemies. When you cast Rakali's Cavalry, if you hit enemies that have that Doom Curse, you're going to be doing uh, defense stripping, you're going to be doing additional damage instances with that Ward Scythe over top. So you're really going to be looking at the battlefield and you're going to be seeing all these enemies, you're going to be charging the Cavalry through them to do lots of damage on multiple hits, you're going to be tearing down their defenses. You're going to be spreading that curse, which is really important uh, to the gameplay, is if you kill an enemy while the curse is active, there is a spread mechanic. And yeah, you're just going to be tearing through enemies with this uh, with this cursed frame, really. Cursed energy. And the passive? Oh, yes, her passive. Uh, <laughs> it's, we have a name for it. Which Abundant it, Abyss. Abundant Abyss, yeah. So the passive is essentially when you get energy or health drops, there's a chance that they'll be 200% more effective. So you're kind of uh, oh, increasing cool. the yield of what the enemies are leaving behind, be it their energy or their life essence in a health orb. So those pickups will have a chance to just be much, much stronger. Um, so similar if you're using things like uh, Arcane, I think it's Arcane Pulse or Arcane Energize, you'll be able to get us just a stronger payoff from energy and health orbs. And there is no cooldown on it once it triggers, I think, yeah. is our current planning. You can quote me on that, but um, the quote <laughs> might be wrong. So <laughs> then it's your fault if I'm, if I'm wrong. But yeah, so this is uh, Dagus. Yeah, those horses won't. That's just so cool. Yeah, That's and then they, like, di they disappear back to this phantom realm. Yeah. Back to <laughs> the phantom cool. realm. Yeah. All right. That's Dagoth. Yes, so. she is our headliner Warframe coming in the Abyss of Dagoth update. Dagoth, Dagoth, whatever. <laughs> Any questions? We'll find Dagoth. out. Dagoth. Dagoth. Uh, all right. Obviously, the biggest question. We're not. Don't even. You can just wait. No. You can just wait. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh. I know. I know. Can I have my jumping? cheat sheet. I have my cheat sheet. The biggest question about Dagoth is how do I get Dagoth? Huh. How do you get? You haven't said much. Do you want to? I got a lot to say later. <laughs> 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 saving, He's his, ready. <laughs> saving his voice for the quality of life. Yeah. All right. So with Dagoth, we have a two-prong approach. Well, actually, three technically, because you can buy her in the market. But for players that want to earn her, uh, there is going to be a combination of kind of giving new content to the original course. You can go to gameplay now, uh, Danny, by the way. Sorry. Uh, the core original six syndicates are going to have something that we're calling Abyssal Beacons. This Abyssal Beacon, right now it's using a placeholder image of a Void Key, but they're very much inspired by the original Void Key system back in the day. They're basically treasure maps to a haunted ship that the Grenier, gal the Grenier foolishly piloted their galleon to what we're calling the Abyssal Zone. The ship's not doing so well. The syndicates all have members aboard, but you can grab those treasure maps and you can run to Ceres and run these Abyssal Beacon keys to earn the resource from uh, what we're calling Vein Thorn, mm. which is the thorn of an extinct rose. Uh, and it had to be a rose. Had to be a rose. <laughs> had to be a rose. Vein Thorn is going to be uh, the resource that you use to build the Goth and her haunted 
sanctuary known as Dagoth's Hollow. A new dojo room. Yeah, so just so for this syndicate, Abyssal Beacons, uh, you can key share if I have one. If I play with four friends, we can each, you know, run our maps, quote unquote, run our key shares and get the, um, it is a new game mode technically. It's like a twist on Exterminate. Yeah, it's Exterminate with a couple extra wrinkles. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so you'll be clearing out those uh, ships in the Abyssal Zone to get your Void Thorn and there will be a Steel Path variant as well that has more, or Vein Thorn, sorry, my mistake. Yep. Uh, yes, so Dagoth's Hollow is a dojo room that is perhaps a little cursed, perhaps <laughs> not. So this new space is gonna be for your dojos where you'll be able to, uh, A, first of all, you'll be able to customize your cave outside of the Duviri setting. So if you don't like going into Duviri just to modify your cave, you can do it in Dagoth's Hollow. This place uh, will house, you know, your cave. So this is where your cave will be. There's that. That's her <laughs> idol animation. Yeah. That's actually what caves do when they're in love. Those. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, they're yes. in a committed uh, relationship. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. laughs> so uh, you can go to um, the shrine of Dagoth here, and there actually isn't a research step that you have to wait for this time. You'll build the room. You'll have instant access to replicate her blueprints. Uh, using the resource from the Syndicate missions. So yeah, uh, there's no research wait for this particular room. However, there is a spooky story. So when this launches, you can listen to the shrine to see what grandmother from Deimos might, might have to say about Dagoth. How to pronounce it. How to pronounce <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Very important thing. Yeah, yeah, the you canon pr pronunciation, yeah, yeah. I see. The, the room is really cool too, yes. just so detailed and interesting. Yeah, the art team killed it. Uh, yep. the, the idea was we wanted this very spooky room where, you know, Dagoth had perhaps been laid to rest and yeah, they nailed it. And when you hear the story, it's probably one of the darker stories we've ever told in Warframe, so you know. And you light a candle for every design idea I had that Pablo changes in a quality of life update. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that how the candle lighting works? No, no. no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a spoiler. No, no. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> keep, keep lighting them. Keep lighting them. Get your lighters, fillers. <laughs> yeah. So that's beautiful. Yeah. So this really room cool. is for great vibe. Great vibe. The sound, oh yes, the smiling, Ooh. maybe perhaps that was once her face. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, but where's her brain? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. Aww. Aww. laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is all coming, so get some space in your dojo for the room. The resources will be acquired through the Abyssal Beacons, which the syndicates will offer you, and away you go. Away you go. Awesome. Away awesome. we shall That's go. really cool. Yeah. Yep. All right, and a few other little bit things coming in Abyss of Degoth that are not quality of life related. Void Shell skins! Team has been working hard on getting those Void Shell skins out, and we have three coming with the Abyss of Degoth update. We have... Do, 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 do. We'll go back to Nidus here, shall we? We have a Nidus Void Shell skin coming. Ooh, Ooh. lovely. It's looking much more tech. Couple boils. Oh god. Yes, yep. <laughs> yes, yes. Obviously, mutation. A couple boils. Yep. Mm. We could yep. play with some colors. Uh, I wish you wouldn't, but okay. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not choosing oh, wait, these. Wait, that's sick. Yeah. This that is the so game. Good. Oh, that's cool. Oh wow. Yeah. All right. Looking cool, Joker. <laughs> Looking cool, Joker. Looking cool, Joker. Um, also, oh, we have <gasps> Mirage is going to be getting one. Not this. Don't oh look, god. Don't, don't, oh, don't look. Don't look. Oh, fine, oh, wrong spot. Wrong spot. <gasps> My queen. She'll be getting very disco techy. Yeah. Oh, disco techa. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Triangle strong. My shape. eyes are up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just where my mouse was. Okay, never mind. Uh, and then we also have Reb's favorite, Protea. Protea. We'll be getting a void show. There she is. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. Very Hit random. I want to see what happens. Let's go. Let's go. Do you really love? Yes. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, but the line, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. oh, I could, I could do with that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Ooh, wow. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so three void shell skins are coming. You like this one because it's Christmassy. Yeah. yeah. Totally. <laughs> she made Santa. It's a beard. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Christmassy for <laughs> sure. Santa Claus. You said that, not me. You said that, not me. Uh, so three void shell skins coming with uh, Abyss of Degoth update. All right. 
Let's do a little bit of a recap of what we all just talked about. Danny hit that slide. Oh, my queen. Get rid of us. All right. We're ghouls. <laughs> to sum up a bit of Abyss of Dagoth Update 34, obviously our 54th Warframe, Dagoth is coming. New blade and whip, her signature, Dor Clave. You got it. Nice. <laughs> uh, alternate helmet, looking like a unicorn. We got those Kaith cosmetics that you saw. We got Dagoth's hollow dojo room that you're going to want to create to craft her. We got Voyshaw skins, Pratia Mod. Mirage and Nidus. We got Knights of Navarus coming back. We got lots of Day of the Dead stuff. New sign Dana that you saw. Sentinel accessories. Uh, the Navarus Lotus skin that you saw as well. And then we're going to get into these two last things, which is the big quality of life and reworks, as well as Grendel Prime after that. Oh. Yay! So far, so good. Should we have a platinum prize? I kind of yeah, blocked out about we, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Many. Sorry, Danny. Might have to do a couple. Appreciate you. Uh, all right, so do we want to... Let's preface this a little bit. There is a lot of quality of life coming in this update. Maybe the most we've ever had? Ever. Is, oh, that, so is cool. that an accurate it's thing so to say? Cool. Confirmed. Confirmed. Yeah, confirmed, most we've ever had. Um, we obviously talked about it on 10 Live. We went through our little slides beat by beat, and we said we'd deep dive into it, and we are going to dive deep, my friends. Yeah, Telecon, I did the two-minute version. This is the two-hour version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, 1,000 Planet was going to, can you read that, Jeff? Uranos, Uranos underscore, underscore XI. Yeah. All right, you did it. Please whisper the Warframe Twitch channel you're watching right now. In game alias platform, play Warframe on, and we'll get you your 1,000 slides. It was close. That was you <laughs> close. You just pulled I know. out. Of the I made sure to. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> made sure to emphasize the O's. Ah. Just go O's on that. Very yeah. well. Yep. Uh, all right. <laughs> it is now time for the quality of life section of this update. Strap in, strap on. First of all, one of the most <laughs> important. <laughs> Again. What happens in Vegas? I'm just, just kidding. Like, this is like, <laughs> like, like Tenocon like all over Here's again. my big box. <laughs> One of the big Strap things, <laughs> quality of life wise per se, is deferred rendering. Yes, the, uh, well, I don't know if we said the date yet, but in October, the consoles that we support, our beloved console folks, are actually all going to be bumped to deferred only renderers, which means the classic renderer will no longer be a thing on consoles. That's so right. Nintendo Switch, all our Xbox and PlayStation SKUs are all going to be supporting deferred. This is obviously hugely important, uh, especially with our Whispers in the Walls graphical plans, you know, that GI lighting only works in deferred. Mm. So this is, this is when the Switch is going to be made. The Goth update is going to be a uh, renderer Unification for all our consoles. Yes. No pressure. Are you, right? are you See? asking me to comment on that? Would you, any comments? I just <laughs> I, I just kind of learned this a, a, a bit ago. But yeah, the uh, the gorgeous TunnelCon demo for Warframe uh, is using the enhanced render, and it's also using a new lighting system that uh, does not work yep. in the old stuff. And so uh, the. And it's going to be rolled out on Switch as well. I just saw yes. I saw a Switch RIP, but no, it's going to be rolling out there as well. And the great thing, I think, for our artists, there's a lot of cool features that they can use, and they have been using since uh, Angels of Zeremon, that Classic can't see. There's a decals. very, very amazing uh, decal system decals. or decal system uh, <laughs> that they can't use in Classic. So. Uh, as well as uh, that new um, GI volume lighting system. So this is kind of important for us, and I apologize for any pain. Obviously, like I always say in the old days, if we mess it up, we'll make it right, but mm -hmm. uh, it's an important step. It's going to literally cut in half the amount of shaders and tech art maintenance that we have to do for our, for our game. So that's going to be really good for raising the quality mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the game and uh, lets our artists focus more on kind of one spec. And there's even stuff in uh, Duviri, how mm -hmm. rocks blended into terrain. You don't see that stuff in Classic. So it's really important for us to get into this kind of one unified rendering framework for all our platforms. And just, we don't have a date yet, but that does mean the PC Classic uh, will also eventually be retired. That's right. Uh, it's just, it's not happening in this update, but it'll mm -hmm. probably be pretty soon. Uh, you'll. We'll have to see. It has to be before the next. Yeah, it yeah. has to be no before choice. Whispers in the Walls. Yeah. It's, it's going to be soon. We don't have a choice because Whispers yeah. in the Wall is built completely on mm. this new stuff. Yeah. Uh, and this is kind of, if you're technically minded, it's kind of like bye-bye light maps um, mm. in, in that particular yes. tile set and then eventually rolling out to the larger game. Uh, and what I think, if you look at the TunnelCon demo, at least through my eyes, <laughs> you see that the characters and the environment and the moving objects all just are completely consistently lit from the same data. 
you have this stuff like in the, the things that drive me crazy, like you're going through the Corpus set and the doors look like they're kind of like Out unlit of, yeah. and they're just like the characters don't seem to match the environment. Uh, this is going to be a real big boost, uh, particularly for that art set, yes. and then we have to roll it out further. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, speaking of date, I kind of <laughs> forgot and glossed over this, but Abyss of Degoth update is coming October 18th. Oh. So everything, this quality of life that we're about to show you, not that, but <laughs> this quality of life that we're about to show you, October 18th, Degoth, all this stuff, Brendel Prime, we're going to get into it. Oh. And the first bit of quality of life we shall tackle is... Companion, companion rework. Hold X to revive your mom. Very well. We have a lovely slide, <laughs> or your internet. Uh, That's what people name their pets. Your mom. Or your internet, my or internet. It's good times. No more. We have that. Uh, so essentially, this is going to be our first round of companion rework changes. We are going to do a part two that will look at abilities. Smita will be part two. Yeah, basically the 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 first. What kind of pain point that we had with companions is uh, they were dead all the time. So that's kind of the first thing that um, that we had to address. You know, obviously, particularly with sentinels that just never came back except for Dujin. Uh, with them in particular, they became kind of useless on Steel Path because they would just die in the first minute of the of the mission and then never come back. Um, and then for the companions that you could, it was really, it gave, it, it left a really bad flavor of mouth to just have like the, the dog for someone else be dying all the time. <laughs> and you would just see, whoever has died, whoever has died. <laughs> uh, and so it, it was really something that just wasn't working. Mm -hmm. So basically what we did is uh, they don't die anymore, they just go incapacitated, which basically means they're disabled for a certain period of time. So you don't, you still don't want them to die, so you still want to put on survivability mods and all of that, but if they do, then they're just incapacitated, and after a little bit, they come back. Uh, you can also accelerate that period of how long they take to come back to doing certain actions and stuff. Uh, we have some mods, I don't know if we're going to show Yeah, we, bond uh, we have the bond mod. Sorry, Danny, I'm skipping one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so you know, those are some examples. There's 14 of these mods, I think, uh, 14 new mods like this, and you know, they basically give. Uh, we don't want mods that are just about reviving the the pets because then you know it feels like a wasted slot to invest just on dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that doesn't feel fun. So all of these have like a secondary effect, and all of the ones we have have some other secondary effect that um, that is beneficial besides just the just the reviving. Uh, beyond the fact that they're now they cannot die, we also enhance their EHP considerably. It varies depending on which of the of the pets it is, but around 50% more EHP in general is kind of where where they landed. Mm -hmm. Some needed more help than others. You know, some of them were even more squishy, so mm -hmm. they'll get. A, I think there's some sentinels that have like 90% or mm -hmm. even 100%. Danny, so we do have an. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, she knows. <laughs> she got it. Yeah, so this is one example for the Raxa. You know, the, uh, you can see the 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 no mods to the new mods. You know, the, the with no mods, it increased by seventy one percent the EHP itself, um, but with uh, even with max mod, it's seventy two percent. Again, it really depends on which of the pets we have. Way too many, but you know, just to give you like an example of the sorts of things that happened with increasing the armor, increasing the shields. Uh, later on, we'll talk about other changes to shields that also mm -hmm. affect this. Um, but yeah, those are basically the, the first things that we kind of address. So they no longer die, they just go incapacitated. They now have much more EHP. There's a bunch of utility mods related to them uh, being incapacitated and also adding some utility. Mm -hmm. Now, next year we want to do a second pass, uh, Nerf Charm, and then in that <laughs> one, <laughs> we're going to revise like all the abilities and the utility in Nerf Charm. Anyways, we're, we're going to do that. We definitely want to do that part. We know that even, even once they don't die, we know they're still really uneven. Uh, so we will revise that uh, next year. But first, we need to uh, first we need them to not die mm -hmm. to kind of see where things settle, and then we'll work on that second part. But know that that part is coming. Yes. Very Can much. I see the clone mod again? I'm a little concerned. Why? <laughs> <laughs> how, how stacking does it work? <laughs> the clone mod. Yeah. yeah there's a oh, the duplex. Yeah, the duplex oh, bond. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> hey, now the values might change. This okay. is, this yeah, is, this is right. all. This is subjective. just. This is off the fly. This is just <laughs> You literally have a cloned deer on your shirt. How can you be? Yeah, but it, it's only two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, also about companion rework, all these other quality of life stuff that we are working on, we do have dev workshops that are going to go live. Uh, we have basically five buckets of quality of life stuff that we've put together, companion rework, hydroid rework, we'll get into the rest. And as we're talking about them, they're going to go live in the forums. So if we've reached the end of our companion section. Uh, just a couple of mini notes. Well. Uh, basically, there's some updates to how the pets appear in the HUD, mm -hmm. just uh, kind of to keep you more informed of what's going on with them. Uh, and then a few other mods, uh, besides the new mods, we also touched up a few of the older mods that we just kind of had yeah. to along We the have gone through comprehensively things like spare parts, mm -hmm. you know, prime regen, all those things. The dev workshop that Megan referred to that should be live any minute now, we'll have it all in there. Yes. So if you want our overview, we just gave it to you. If you want to read the nitty gritty, it is all there for you. Every mod's interpretation within this new um, system. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. And thank you to the team who worked on that uh, QOL bucket one. We do have four more buckets to go, but this was a big one. A uh, huge thanks to the team. For we only got 10 minutes left. <coughs> what happens with the vacuum when they're incapacitated? Uh, while they're incapacitated, I'm not sure. So okay. I imagine it disables, because we disable a few other things, okay. but I'd have to verify. Okay. Yeah. Are you, you're acting like a real Warframe player now. <laughs> First thing you do is act about it's like live chat over here. <laughs> uh, if you would like a link to the companion rework, like we mentioned, the dev workshop, you can do exclamation point companion in Twitch chat. It will take you to I the... I saw a couple times the same question that I really need to address. I am wearing pants. <laughs> 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 just, just to be clear, <laughs> <Our pants>. <laughs> 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 just make it clear. He's <laughs> got your calicos on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the Pablo show today. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's embracing it. Oh my god! I Whoa. thought you were being so serious. I thought you were being so serious. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo's dying from <laughs> listening to Rebecca laugh. <laughs> yeah, oh basically, I'm like, contagious laughter. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to revive them. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh. All right, are we ready for Hydroid rework, everybody? Yes, Hydroid! Oh, the cheers, the crowd goes wild! Wow, sloshy, sloshy, Channel sloshy. Con our audience screams, takes their pants off. <laughs> That's right. Pablo started the trend. Oh my god. <laughs> Take your pants off for the Hydroid rework, because right. things are about to get tentacly. No. All right, so. Okay, okay. So, Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you regret coming back? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. Uh, so we have a lovely slide, just kind of going over very briefly what it is. Obviously, okay. we're going to do live Hydroid rework gameplay. I don't know if we want to just go in, talk about it as we play. Do we want to just kind of surface uh, level talk about yeah, it? Yeah, I guess we can play and I can just yeah. rant. I mean, uh, We'll come back to the yeah. slide. Okay, um, a lot of what you're going to see, you know. So I'm just basically going to kind of tell you what changed. Um, so the passive used to be, uh, you did the slam dunk into the ground and then a tentacle came out. It wasn't very useful because generally if you pinpointed a hit directly with the slam, you probably killed the unit or you knocked it away. So it wasn't exactly a very uh, beloved passive. So we changed it and we went for the theme of the corrosive waters. The of briny, salty seas, lad. <laughs> that's where it, the that's ships it. will rust. <laughs> God. God. Captain Ahab over here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So basically, he now uh, enhances um, corrosive. So basically, whenever he damages an enemy by any means, uh, they are now more vulnerable to corrosive in general. So the first stack that gets applied to them removes 50% armor instead of the usual 24. What that means is that if you get corrosive all the way up to 10 stacks, you now strip armor entirely. Um, and he has many means to apply corrosive, so you'll see soon that he can, uh, he can really deliver those stacks. So he's one. The first change we made to this one is it used to be impact damage, which uh, didn't love, so now it's corrosive because now we have like a pretty, um, oh, you can see the little icon on top of their heads. That is That basically means that they're vulnerable to corrosive uh, and any corrosive stacks will basically, they don't have to be from you, they can be from anything, it can be from your weapons, your your abilities, it can be from other allies, doesn't matter, whatever it is, you basically applied it to them. 
Um, the one no longer, the one used to like knock enemies around, so it was really hard to shoot them because essentially the, the ability kind of pushed them all over the place. So now it just staggers them, so they kind of stay in place. They still move a little bit because otherwise it really loses the kind of the punch. But um, but now it's um, they kind of stay in the same range. These guys are a little too weak to really show. Uh, I'm just a strong girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's that too. Um, yeah, so I think those are, well, the main change is the one. It doesn't have charge anymore. Uh, right, yeah. that's a little detail. The charge is gone. The values for normal cast are essentially the same as what used to be the max charge. So you basically get that now uh, from the get go. Then from his two, you can see the little the water thing. Um, the the water wave. Yeah, the little water wave. Yeah. Tidal barrage. No, tidal. Tidal, tidal surge. <laughs> surge. Um, yeah, for tidal surge. Uh, we basically changed it so it kind of grabs enemies better. Before it just kind of knocked them around. Again, kind of like the one, it just spread enemies around, which generally is not what you want. So now it kind of gathers them with you and takes them on a ride. Uh, these guys might be a little too weak for you yeah, to Yeah, if they die, they just obviously die my <laughs> yeah, okay. third, so They survive, they come with me. <laughs> trust that they travel with you whenever they survive. Oh. There you go. So they're, they're <laughs> or die. Yeah. Uh, as they travel with you, you're also applying corrosive to them, so basically they get um, even more stacks. So basically, if you if you grab a bunch of enemies, you deliver it at the end. They're right there in the floor uh, with a bunch of corrosive stacks for you to devastate them. Um, we did a few things with the timing of it. Essentially, before the speed of the wave changed based on duration. We removed that, but we increased the base speed. It was very hard to control, and it, it caused too many issues to have it kind of be volatile. Like you could end up with really slow waves that, that didn't feel good, so we changed that. So now it's a constant speed, but it's higher speed than what it was in, uh, in the original. Um, and also now the status clear that used to be on the augment, the one for you is now by default. <laughs> the augment now only does the status clear for others, which, you know, the, well, and it does the, the cost reduction thing as well, if you still want that. And then a second of silence. For oh. Undertow, oh. RIP Undertow. <laughs> Burial at sea. <laughs> Walk the plank. <laughs> I loved Puddle. I will be a Puddle yeah. lover till the day I die. <laughs> Bury me in that Puddle. Oh, okay. I'm okay. so sad. So, okay, so understand. Undertow. Undertow is gone. gone. Rip Undertow. But what do we got instead, Pablo? Yeah, so, I mean, just to kind of give you like a, a brief, I, I think everyone knows why it went, essentially. I don't. Being a stationary <laughs> Puddle. Why did it go? <laughs> being a stationary Puddle doesn't really match <laughs> the game at all. <laughs> you, know, you have to be in like a Ambushed place. Ambushed by puddle? Uh, yeah. We did try changing the puddle to a castable thing where you were not the puddle. But then the problem is enemies would not walk into the puddle. So you needed to then get a second tool to drag enemies into the puddle. And it, it just got really messy. In general, we also don't love enemy denial, which is basically hiding enemies from other players because it just makes the game more boring for them. Um, so, yeah, in general, like, the puddle just was not working, so we changed it. Can we get an F in chat for puddle? Um, I don't see any Fs, but, you know. <laughs> uh, I did see someone say, it was a stationary. That is true. You could move at, like, one meter per <laughs> second. That is uh, my bad. But if anyone's <laughs> going to get you on a technicality, yeah. it's Twitch <laughs> chat. Yeah, so there we go. F with oh, we're getting a lot of Fs in chat <laughs> now. Yeah. It just took a bit. Um, so the new ability, basically, uh, any enemies in your view, you can plunder their armor and basically steal it for yourself. Cool. Uh, this scales based on how many enemies there are and also how many corrosive stats they have. So if you're spraying corrosive all over the place, then you plunder the armor and you end up with a bunch of armor and a bunch of... I like uh, how you made it theme by calling it plunder. Thunder. <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> and then, okay, so look at the icon. You can see that Megan set up a group of enemies there. She hit them with some corrosive stacks with her Tempest Barrage, and then boom, the armor was plundered. Uh, and this is a survivability ability for our Yeah, party. so right now, I mean, I think she did it on just a few enemies, but she has 518 armor. You can see there on the upper uh, right, on the lower right, sorry. And 130% uh, corrosive uh, damage added to all your attacks. So you get both of those. Uh, you get like a half offensive, half defensive. Uh, depending on how many enemies you you target, and you know it's uh, and it scales again from any corrosive stacks, which you can apply with a one, you can apply with a two, and you can apply with a four, which we'll look at in a moment. Actually, there's there's a bunch of yeah. enemies. Shall we here. tentacle? 
Yeah, so... Yeah, try and get... Yeah, 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 yeah. So the tentacle, one of the weird things about it is it used to do magnetic damage, which uh, I found extra strange. So now it's corrosive, just to go themed with, uh, with everything else. Uh, and instead of flapping the enemies around, which I know a lot of people really dislike because similar to what I mentioned for one and two, it just makes it harder for you to shoot them. Now it just kind of holds them in, in very awkward positions, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very compromising positions for you uh, to shoot. I think shoot. I tried that in a yoga class. Oh my god. <laughs> So now it holds them. It's uh, it's applying the corrosive steel. It looks cool. There's yeah. been some reanimation to the yeah. like they reanimation. Yeah, the, yeah. The, new, the new stuff looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I had to change a lot of things there to kind of make this uh, working the way we wanted. It used to scale. Now it shifts. It, there's a whole bunch of cool. This one had a lot of technical stuff to to get sorted, but. It basically means that now it really holds enemies uh, in place. Also, if uh, if there's available tentacles and enemies enter the zone, the tentacle will kind of go out and grab him so that you can kind of keep it sort of going. It's not just on the first burst to grab them. You just can grab them over time now. Um, and as you see, it, it, it's, applying, uh, it's applying corrosive and it's uh, doing uh, the maximum damage. Because again, it doesn't have the charge anymore, so you don't have to hold and charge. Um, to get it going. Yeah, tentacle Swarm is no longer held, so all that has been removed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the one thing I forgot to mention on the one is that the old Dogman used to give Corrosive, now obviously it gives Corrosive by default, so the new one gives Viral, which mm -hmm. obviously, if you combine both things, it is quite, um, it's quite crazy, but it, um, it works. Yar! 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 for the three, Heals, uh, which used to heal by people standing on the puddle, which no one did. Um, <laughs> now, it, since this when you cast the ability, it heals you and it heals your allies in affinity range. Mm -hmm. Puddle play is dead. Puddle play. Dead mm -hmm. puddles. Yeah. Hydroid. Rework. There it is. Down workshops that live. Exclamation point. Yep. Hydroid in yep. Twitch chat. If you would like a link to the Hydroid rework, there is. More in depth. We got gifts. We got more information about augments. All that nitty gritty stuff in the Dev Workshop. And Pablo. if you could just redo the Prime trailer for Hydroid, oh. so that it doesn't start oh, with a puddle. Mean. Oh, that is yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah, We're gonna need to read. I don't think wow. we put puddle in it. You did. The beginning is they're like floating oh, in his puddle state. Right. Yeah, I'm afraid. Redo. Redo. Maybe they redo. just. Redo. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was one we struggled to get out of. Yeah, that was. I was out of it. Wasn't that the one that you made like? A fake version of it. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. The drone one. That's right. Oh, yeah. Didn't it. Stallard that's right. write the, the VO for it? Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah. Good. good times. Good times. I still got trolled at Tenokan about the hydro. Like people came up to you and were like, oh, <laughs> 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 so good. There you go. Can never live it down. Give away. Give away. Give away. Oh yeah. One thousand platinum. Should we, should we give some plat away? Let's give some plat away. Let's yep. check in. It's currently two minutes after three. We're going okay. a bit longer. Yeah, I think we only have about thirty minutes left. I think we can cool. do it. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think we can do it. <laughs> oh, as we have one of the bigger ones. I try ones to rant as much as I can. <laughs> All right, 1,000 like platinum. 20 more things in my list. We can do it. Going to a lucky viewer by the name of, I can't read that, Jeff. Boses underscore etwas. Boses underscore Congratulations, Boses you've won. Though. Yeah, <laughs> that was the other one. Make Congratulations, it you've won 1,000 platinum. Please whisper the Warframe Twitch channel you're watching right now with your in-game alias platform play Warframe on and we'll get you 1,000 platinum. Congratulations. All right. We are now going to move on to the new player experience changes. Q O L. Hit that slide, Danny. Appreciate you. All right. Yeah, Hit I it from the top. I Rip. think this one we'll just go through pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just under the. Generally, the philosophy with this is there are some rough edges around that new player experience. Nope. <laughs> no, there's none. Nope. Uh, and and this is this is basically a treatment pass on some things that we, we thought we could resolve fairly quickly in the QOL update. We wanted mm -hmm. to make sure that we really were comprehensive with this QOL update. Therefore, we got some things for y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, for the <laughs> first up new players, flawed mods are just no longer a part of progression. So the idea that you're earning this broken mod um, no. is... What? No. <laughs> <laughs> just I wish you <laughs> split that point, because uh, that has caused a lot of confusion. Yeah. So uh, uh, but MK1 weapons are not yeah. removed, because no. I just saw. Another. Well, no. MK1 weapons are removed from Vor's prize as a weapon you pick. They're still in the market for credits. They'll still be in your inventory. I'll keep They're my 100 Forma 
MK1 bragging. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah, keep it. They're ripping it. MK1. Come like, on. Those aren't going away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. They, they're just, when a player installs Warframe after this update, when they're picking their weapons and Lotus is like, pick your secondary, pick your melee. There's no is such thing. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> a little. Should, maybe you should recast it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this quality of life changes. <laughs> oh, what that? oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we have our own boo squad here. <laughs> In short. The weapons a player chooses will be the bow and the Bratton. No longer Mark One. They will still be in the market for credits, and you will still have yours. No problem. Mm -hmm. Flawed mods, however, will be removed and exchanged for uh, the the real ones. The real ones mm -hmm. with some rank adjustments at the lower levels, so players can actually use them early on. Mm -hmm. uh, the only flawed mod that's not going away is the April Fool's ammo drum. Ammo drum. If you got that one, you keep that yeah, one. You keep that. Uh, more in the dev workshop if you want more details. Mm -hmm. Early game inbox and junction adjustments. This is just a matter of the grind to progress. Some of our junction mm -hmm. tasks were, you know, pick up 20 mods. Uh, just some things that felt a little, like if you've done it once, you know how to do it. So don't make you do it 20 times. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten rid of some of the quota junction tasks, let's say, where you have to do 20 of the same thing, and replaced it uh, entirely with a quest-based one. So we want you to play Saya's Vigil before you progress so you can meet the Ostrons and mm. meet the open world. So we've taken off the sort of to-do lists, and now there is a quest junction task there. Some other management has occurred there. Yes, sir. So can we keep the broken mods if you already have them and you still have them and just like don't drop them anymore? Are you, no. are you converting no, they get them? Converted. No. Yeah, we getting a lot of text messages. You had to convert them? Yeah. Yeah, because otherwise we had to like add like a screen that you could go to do it or something. You know? If a player, like a brand Take new a screenshot What's a part of history? You're, <laughs> our, you're our boss. You tell us what we have No, to no, it's fine. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then we've also added universal enemy radar, which means any player cool. that plays, you will have a 30 meter enemy radar as a built-in function of the game. You don't need to mod or upgrade for that. Obviously, your mods and upgrades will enhance it and make it bigger and better. But just as a default playstyle improvement, uh, especially for new players that don't really know the intricacies of where enemies hide in levels or visibility, it's just there. Yeah, Enemy essentially, the game plays better when you can tell where yeah. enemies are. We, so we didn't really want to keep getting that behind what right now is mostly Animal Instinct, which takes a while for a new player to get to. So we just felt like it was important to have mm -hmm. kind of this by default, and then you can make it even larger if you want with Animal Instinct or whatever. Yes, and we've reduced um, some issues with some quests. Wave Rider, the Yareli quest, has a rework. We've gone from uh, 25 challenges to 15. Most of the challenges are actually combat or different input base. We're not going to make you do a ton of tricks. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, uh, if you cut to Meg's screen, Danny, you can kind of see We've page, page unlocks are down, uh, and there's just simply less challenges overall. Some are a bit more combat focused. So the Yareli Wave Rider quest has been reworked in terms of what it asks of you. Uh, and then for other quest optimization, the Nata quest will trigger now if you just see an Oculist, because some players don't know that they have to equip the scanner and go scan. Once an Oculus sees you and Lotus reacts, the quest will kick off in earnest. Oh, that one's actually not. It's not in? That one's going to come later. OK, I'm a liar. But we do have a couple for Nuta. Don't We're reducing listen. the mastery rank requirement. Don't listen to me at all. That one's going to come later. We are doing that one. It's just going to come in the subsequent Whispers update. And Vox Solaris has simply been rebalanced, but maybe not, because it sounds like it has. It has. Yeah, okay. the well, overall difficulty has just been Yeah, a lot reduced. of players get stomped in that if they go the core path from Earth to mm. Venus to Vox Solaris, and then they die and die and die and mm -hmm. die. Mm -hmm. die. And we have some other just miscellaneous ones. It's all going to be in the dev workshop if you want to check that out. And then Cetus Wisps. Yeah, so Cetus Wisps run away from you, and players don't know they're there. <laughs> uh, it's cute. They go up to the sky. They just won't do that anymore. They, they no longer have uh, the fight or flight reaction. Uh, the flight, they've been reprogrammed to love you and wait for you. Aww. So Cetus Wisps will no longer flee. That was very confusing for new players. Uh, and then the Necromech acquisition changes are actually pretty substantial. Uh, the way to earn a necromech has been heavily reliant on rng fighting the mechs they drop the parts go 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 we tried to improve this with our past uh where we just inbox do the blueprints and you would still have to go get the components so mm -hmm. that was step one it helped what's gonna help a bit more is if we put the pieces on necroloid for token exchange mm -hmm. so you can actually it's basically the pity system if you get enough matrices that you're like oh i haven't got the parts yet you can turn them in to buy them so we've essentially added the rng pity system to necromech acquisition for your void rig there you go and that is a quick recap. Oh, that was fast. That was a, that's uh, it for that. That's beautiful. That's it. Dev Workshop's live. Exclamation point. New player. If you'd like a link to that Dev Workshop with more information about all of those changes. All right. Moving right along.
Next up, we have accessibility and HUD improvements workshop. Weird. I, I thought yeah, this I accessibility was, was scheduled for later yeah. up, uh, update. I don't know why it's coming out so soon. <laughs> I don't understand. Now, now. Uh, yeah, so enemy highlight, I think that was, um, you know, generally, I think the, the visibility of enemies has always been, especially in a very dense and very fast game that we have. Um, you know, for us, we're very used to it, and I'm sure a lot of the players that are actually watching this are super used to it. But I, we have seen that a lot of people do struggle kind of spotting where enemies are, uh, particularly in some of the tasks where they they match a lot the, the visual of dark the enemy. Dark Grenier with a dark material yeah. we have an and asset. dark lighting. We have an asset. <laughs> yeah. So this is what you would see or not see. Do you, yeah. Can you find the Grenier? I can. Can you find the Grenier? It's easy. He's, maybe he's in a puddle somewhere. Maybe he's <laughs> in a puddle. So with the new enemy highlighting system, bam! You can see it, and allies. You can see yourself and your allies. Yeah, you can basically you can select to turn it on enemies, on allies, and even on yourself. And you can tweak the color and the intensity on yourself and on allies. Can you go to my gameplay so. real quick? Dan? Oh, so you can highlight yourself. Yeah, and this allies. is really meant for those cool. that have. Um, you know, a real hard time seeing these games. A lot of people at TennoCon came up and said, you know, this is one, like, they're vision impaired and they were hoping for more in this um, Oh, cool. Honestly, like, even for me, oh, just nice. trying it with, like, a low intensity, just a tiny mm -hmm. bit to yeah. help on some of the darker facets, I found. Makes a big be, difference. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. And you can choose if you wanted to highlight yourself or not, just so you're excluded from that if you don't want to be your own ally. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm my, my own biggest savage. <laughs> <learned, so. laughs> yeah, well, given your limbo history. Oh. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm scared. You had it won. You couldn't quit. You know? <laughs> she couldn't quit. Conservation. Speak your left. Conservation <laughs> improvements. Uh, we have a couple images for this. We sure do, Pablo. Made the trail the harder to know. see. Yes. Uh, there's quite mm -hmm. a bit of things here. We got icons on the map. Yep. This is obviously what you currently see in game now. It's a bit. Uh, what <laughs> what are we much. looking at here? Yeah. We got some yeah. paw prints. We They're need some more icons. Yeah. Let's add more. more, more. With a yeah, highlighter so the current one, the current one adds an icon for each conservation spot, and they're all the same. Yeah. So the new one makes uh, different icons for each uh, animal type and only shows you the nearest one of each type, so it doesn't get as crazy. Um, also, once you're looking at them in the map, you can actually, like, in the interactive map, you can click on one and it'll get marked mm -hmm. so that you can go wherever it is. So yeah. that um, it's really helpful because you can like I can click like Vermink and then I can portal to like the teleporter and yeah. then it's still in like a waypoint. I'm like, oh, I can just go my 200 meters over there. People it's are saying, didn't helpful. you already do this? Isn't this live? <laughs> not this is not live. Well, this, not this, is, this is out already. Part to be of clear, it is. Part of it, part is. of it is. Part, part of it is, is out. Yeah. The deep dive is not. Yes. We, did, we put out like a little bit early, and then now we're doing like the full scope yep. of conservation updates. Uh, speaking of, um, we have the trails. Better yeah, looking trails. Yeah, so the, the trails for the footprints, that's how it was before. So this is how it looks on live. And you can see the first couple of footprints there, but as soon as it goes into the grass, mm -hmm. it becomes impossible to see. I think of all the things, this is the main thing that people complain about. So mm -hmm. if we look at the new version, it oh, is yeah. significantly mm -hmm. uh, more visible, so you can uh, track them quite a bit easier. And mm -hmm. all we had to do was inject the animals with radioactive goo. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> Not the goo. Um, <laughs> radioactive. Wow. Goo. A couple Consigned things we don't lotus. have uh, <laughs> images for. Uh, we have visual feedback when you get a roar success, and that's mostly for anyone that's hearing impaired, so that you actually don't have to like listen to the roar. You have some mm. some backup there that you can look at. Cool. Um, we have um, when you with your uh, scope, you can actually see the a little blink for the general direction that animals are in. It doesn't mark them directly, but it, at least you know which direction to turn to look. Uh, so basically, you don't have to kind of just guess based on the sound. Um, and there's a bunch of other little changes mm -hmm. uh, here and there for that, but those are overall the, the main things for conservation. So, okay, but what if I broke my arm and I want to still <laughs> play well, Warframe? Well, we have auto melee <laughs> coming to Warframe. Oh, oh. So for the longest, <laughs> since the what dawn of time, <laughs> since the dawn of time, man has yearned to harness the power of Warframe's <laughs> melee. And with all of the amazing animation work that has happened in all our combos, mm -hmm. players have been able to spam the melee button to achieve forward combos, neutral combos, any number of things. So Meg, go ahead and spam that E button. Danny, come over to gameplay. Look at her go. Oh, look at me go. Look at her go. Oh, I'm amazing. Now, what if you just held E? My wrist is oh. broken. What if I just held E? 
What if mm. you just held? Oh, let me just take a sip. So, <laughs> auto. <laughs> yeah. Just, wow. So okay. auto melee is as simple as it's just a feature in the game by default. You can choose to hold or you can choose to sequence steps. It is up to you. Cool. If you want to hold, hold. If you don't, don't. There is like one or two caveats. I think glaives are exempt from this and the wolf um, sledge because they have the ranged combos. Mm. So the throw stuff. Yeah. So you can. Someone perhaps only with one workable gaming arm could just wow hit E. That's it. That's auto melee. That's it. Yeah, I as I mentioned, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned <laughs> this on on Tenocon. Uh, there is another feature we're adding to to kind of like a little extra wrinkle to this. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it polished properly on time, so we're actually gonna hold out the melee back, but. I don't ask me why, but we decided to push it ahead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it feels uh, so. There is a little bit more that's gonna come on the <laughs> on the December update, but uh, we'll we'll talk about that when we're yeah. closing. Yeah. But just know that there is one more thing because I know a lot of people are gonna say, "Well, now I I'm." Are you, you talking about perfect heavy attack? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that's not till later in the year. We separated this from that just so we could get auto melee out sooner. Well, it's good to yeah. get it in front of players who might. You know, have a broken arm, so that they yeah. can play a game on live. Yeah. What a world we live in. Auto melee is here. All right, and last but not least in this quality of life section, we've just updated the new update history screen. Ah, yes. Hold on, Danny, don't do it yet. 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 Here we go. All right, when you log into Warframe for the first time, when an update pops, you get a little screen with your Warframe kneeling there with a big old wall of text that we do write ourselves. So. Please appreciate so please that. Read it. Please read it. Uh, we do write that. And it is honestly just a wall of text that tries its best to summarize the update in as many less bullet points as it possibly can. But now we've updated the history screen to really show you way better at a glance, give you options to really navigate. You can go to the patch notes, you can go to the market. It's really just much better. Yeah, I'm a believer that, that generally no one reads. Uh, so <laughs> I think just showing cool images and just having like the items there mm -hmm. and just bullet points. Uh, I mean, I, I hear even presidents really like bullet points. So you can just like look at the things and just click on them and get kind of information there for yeah. all the different things. Also, this screen actually has history. So that means when you come in two years, you can click on it and still see every major update when we released, uh, that we released and you can see yeah. everything that we changed. And, and so because Pablo is a believer that no one reads, if you want to read more about all this, check out our dev workshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Exclamation yeah. point, accessibility. Yeah, just, just go read about it in the dev workshop. You'll love it. You'll love it. Our team spent so long writing oh them, so you can spend a <laughs> long good. time reading them. People read, but when you sign in, I think you want to uh, yeah, get, get in excited. there. You want to get yeah, in there. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. People yeah. can read. I'm not mad. I'm them. not mad. As you can see, we put platinum items on that page, so you can just buy those cosmetics. Who needs to read when you can just read when you log in? Who needs to read? We appreciate it. Yeah, we don't get fed <laughs> if you don't buy them. So. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't let me leave the office you're since 10 o'clock. She your can't fix her arm unless that's you... That's right. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, all right, that is the end of the accessibility uh, quality of life workshop. We're going to move into one of the heftier ones. Are we going to do the HUD stuff? Are you going to do the HUD icon things? Oh, is did I miss that? Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, it's, oh, my bad, my bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Keep me honest. There's a really good thing coming in the I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, buffs and debuffs in the pause menu, Pablo. Okay, I want us to walk through an Octavia player's life. <laughs> 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 you're Octavia. You're buffing your allies. You're dancing your heart out. You are hitting those BPMs. You are grinding. Mm. Mm. You are grooving. Mm. Your squad mates look over at you and say, what the hell are all these icons? <laughs> <laughs> you go back to your ship, you cry, you cry some more. Yeah, so. Great setup, great setup. Yeah, basically we, we have a whole bunch of buffs. In fact, uh, we checked and it's over 900 of them. So basically, yeah, I couldn't believe that when <laughs> I was watching it. I was like, no, <laughs> 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 yep. yeah. So there's a lot of icons that often it's very hard to know what they are, especially you know if you're just starting the game and you're just seeing like little symbols appear, you don't know what what they are. So now you can essentially press escape and they'll they'll stay there, so you can hover and kind of understand what they are. Now, as I said, we have 900, <laughs> so <laughs> they all have names because they've always had names, mm. but descriptions we're gonna fill over time. You can see the pH. They're working <laughs> in progress, okay? <laughs> Helen's got 900 to do. Leave her alone. <laughs> Let her do her By thing. By like 850, it's gonna be like, please stop this. <laughs> yeah. This buff does nothing. Yeah. Delete it. More shield, less yeah. shield. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, so it's going to take us a while f to go through all of them. This is uh, So in this update, you ex can expect to see icons and names, so at least it gives you <laughs> some reference of what is it that you're looking I at. I hope it's coder names. Uh, More damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damatron. Damatron. Uh, but descriptions will we will fill over a longish time. There you go. All right. Also, an accessibility that I missed, so sorry, is, and we talked about this earlier, was the weapon trait displays and upgrades. So, Danny, if you'd like to go to my game, please, please and thank you. Uh, our example today is the new Dork Clef. Clave. Damn it. <laughs> the new <laughs> Dork Clave. Every other attempt, you get it. Oh, right, so. my god. Um, obviously, the description exists here, and it has a bit of a passive effect to it. but. It would be nice to know this information while I'm in my upgrade screen, while I'm putting my mods on. So what do we have here, Pablo? Yeah, essentially it's kind of in the same vein. Uh, every weapon that has a special trait, anything that would make it work different, and unless you read the description, you wouldn't know about it, mm. is now surfaced here. People don't read. People don't read, exactly. Damn. So <laughs> now at least there's something that looks different here whenever you go to a weapon. And also the descriptions in here will tend to be much more detailed, like they'll have actual numbers and stuff. Mm. Whereas a lot of the descriptions that you find in most weapons, actually I was surprised that this one had numbers. Most of the times we <laughs> just put like flavor stuff on those descriptions. So you you have to go and check the wiki to understand how they work. Mm. So now the information will be here so that you kind of know what's, um, what's going on as you're modding. Oh my god, and someone just said Incarnate and Arsenal. <laughs> In chat. Well, yeah, just you yeah. wait. Yeah. yeah, just you wait. Just you wait. All right, that is the end of our accessibility <laughs> dev <laughs> workshop. Exclamation point accessibility if you'd like to check all that out. Nitty gritty. All right, now we move on to what is the more hefty quality of life workshop. Yeah, that wasn't even the hefty stuff. Whoa. Are you Sorry, guys are ready? <laughs> Why don't we just start? Start? Let's get a word from our sponsors. No, 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 Major QOL. Major QOL of system changes and general quality of life. All right. This First and foremost. Yeah. I'll blast through what I think I can do quickly, and then you can go along on the ones that need more support. Uh, firstly, the focus lens convergence and buff. This is really just focus can be grindy. There's a lot of focus schools. If you ever wanted to complete them all, it might take some time. We've simply buffed the rate at which affinity is exchanged for focus across all lenses. Uh, percentage increases, so you're just getting more focus. And additionally, when you hit up the convergence orb, it'll actually give you focus itself. So you're playing, you see the convergence orb, it'll be worth 5,000 focus, uh, and I believe it's distributed equally among things that you no, know. No, it's uh, the same as the tracks. It essentially oh, right. gives it to you to whatever school of focus you have selected. Oh, okay, so it's not the distributed one, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, just lenses give more focus is the end of that Easy one. peasy. Yeah. The main reason for the convergence ones is sometimes you find yourself in situations where it appears and there's no enemies around because you just cleared a wave or whatever, mm -hmm. and it can be very frustrating, so now you get like a little extra just from picking it up. It's so. like a candy. Mm. <laughs> it's like a candy. Speaking of candy, shields. Shields! Yes, so this is actually going to be the biggest section, I think, to discuss. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Under the bus. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Uh, yeah, so shields basically, um, shields have always been like less preferred than health and armor. Uh, you know, most people don't put in a redirection, things like that. Uh, and we felt like they needed some love. Right now, you're um, bizarrely incentivized to have lower shields so that shield gate can activate faster, uh, which really kind of works against kind of what you would expect, that having more shields should ma make shields stronger. So we're doing several changes. Uh, starting with shield gate will now scale based on how much, how many shields you have. So if you're around 350 shields, 360, something like that, you have the exact same shield gate duration as you have on live right now. Anything above, it grows all the way to 2.5. I think the one in live right now is 1.33. You can get all the way to 2.5 if you have larger shields. So that means that shield gate duration can actually last quite a bit. Not only that, but right now, the way it works in live, if you have regenerated 1% of your shields or 99% of your shields, you get the same shield duration, the bottom one. We changed it so now it actually grows linearly. So if you're at 50% shields, you're gonna get half the shield gate duration and not just the lower one. So you basically have, um, yeah, it, it is way better protection now. Yeah, it, it would incentivize you to consider investing in shield regen mm -hmm. and yeah. a bigger shield capacity. Uh, the other change that came with that is right now shields uh, in, on the live build uh, diminish all damage taken by 25%. We bumped that up to 50%, so essentially you now have a 33% bonus there of, 
of uh, damage received. And the main reason for that is sometimes shield feel like paper and they just kind of disappear <laughs> very quickly. So we just want to make them a little more resistant. And this applies to companion shields as well, which mm -hmm. is why the EHP buff may have felt very large, and that's because shields now mitigate more damage, mm -hmm. yep. just as a stat. Uh, obviously, for anyone that uses the famous uh, decaying dragon key, you can think of yourself, well, if it scales with the size of my shields, that means the kind the cane dragon key no longer works. And that is true. Uh, the cane dragon key strategy is pretty bad now. So what we did is we basically made it into, we did the classic make a change into a feature. <laughs> so uh, we now have a mod that essentially does what the old uh, dragon key did. Uh, sets your shield gate to 1.33, because it's exactly what, uh, what we have on, on live. And it reduces your shield spike uh, to 25% of what they were. So it essentially does the same, but now you have to pay a mod slot for it. Yeah, and I think um, for that, we are giving the mod away for an al alert for the week after launch. So Degoth will launch that new mod, which is a corrupted mod. It will be put in the corrupted vaults where you get your other corrupted mods. But for one week, up for free in an alert completely. You can go to my screen, my gameplay real quick, Danny. There it is. Analyzing uh, shields. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Uh, and I think a big reason for this is the best way to survive in Warframe as we continue to make this game shouldn't be use a gear item from 10 years ago <laughs> that reduces your shields because we added shield, ga shield gating three years ago and both those things happen to work really well together. I love that. I love that pa players figured it out, but it's just, it's not intuitive at all and it's not very um, accessible and it honestly can be a little... It's off-putting. Like, hey, the best way to survive is to use this gear item that happens to work, which is cool. Like, emergent gameplay is cool, and I, I, I love that. But we want it to formalize it, ratify it, and make it a true intended shields are actually good <laughs> system <laughs> versus don't use them ever and get rid of them. So. Mm -hmm. uh, the last thing is uh, any mods that have shield region now also reduce the, the delay. Yep. So before, you still had the same delay. So those shield regions, a lot of times, just didn't feel the impact. Now it does both, so you basically get your shields back faster. Um, so hopefully that'll make them, uh, you know, <laughs> I know a lot of veterans that have all the things might laugh at me in thinking that they would ever use them, but I think for some people uh, with these changes, they will actually be useful. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. We're going to go a little bit out of order on that, but oh. we're going to go to Warframe level up stats. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so this one, this one is a... Uh, quiz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a pop quiz for it. This one is both a gigantic change and a change that you probably won't even notice. <laughs> so <laughs> kind. Insert slide one, Danny. Once. Slides one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. you're, you're good at math, Steve. Tell yeah. me. <laughs> Your rank 30 Excalibur has yeah. 300 health. You add a vitality mod with 440% health. How much health do you have? Uh, this makes my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me cross my eyes. Yep. Uh, so if you've ever uh, played Warframe, you know that the answer is 740. Wow. which is a bit of a weird math. You wouldn't expect <laughs> that 440% of 300 health would get you there. But the reality is that that percentage applies on the number of the, the health number that you had at rank zero, mm -hmm. which the is base. not a number you see for long, mm -hmm. and it's not something that's exposed. So it's very hard to kind of understand the why uh, for anyone that's just starting the game. So uh, what we did is we changed it so that the level up stats now apply directly to the base. So that means any mods that you put on grow the, the base, th that, that entire stat. Obviously, that means that we cannot keep Vitality at 440%, or it would be insane. So we kind of redid all the numbers, not only to simplify that, but also to raise the floor. Uh, what that means is basically when you don't have mods, you're now a little higher on health. Uh, but then with the mods, you basically end up kind of the same place. Okay. Um, so you can see in that example, uh, you have the old health at 300, now it's 370, uh, the armor grew by 15, and then the shields grew by 70, and essentially a rank 30 Excalibur with no extra mods has 36% more EHP. But then if you put on the max mods, so if you put all the Vitality Redirection and the Steel Fiber, you basically only end up 7% higher. And the main reason for that 7% is the change we talked about earlier where shields now absorb more, um, more damage. Yeah, it's not actually a statistical change in the raw numbers, it's a damage yeah. mitigation change. However, uh, to be clear, if we've done our job right here, you probably won't notice anything, except mm -hmm. easier. It'll be clearer. Yeah, it'll yeah. just be clearer, yep. that's the goal. 
yeah, so flow, yeah, people are saying prime <laughs> flow is going to be crazy now. It is not, <laughs> you're not getting a prime flow multiplier on your max tank of gas. It's just, because yeah. it was always applying to your base rank zero energy pool. That so you couldn't see anymore because you were obviously rank 30. Yeah. Yeah. So now that it's applying to the final number, which is a much larger number, then the percentage can be smaller. And basically you end up around the same, the same place, uh, but it's all, everything is clearer now and also elevates the the floor like i was saying so any mm -hmm. any of the things you didn't want to any of the things you didn't mod then you you have higher right so yeah people saying it's a, it's warframe's first stat squish like, <laughs> no <laughs> it's just it's a clarity pass it's a clarity, yeah, it's a clarity pass, pass. Yeah. Yeah. like reb said you shouldn't r notice anything but it will be much clearer that your health shield and it, like those values should yeah. be much clearer at a glance what you're going to be getting yeah, yeah, we might need to do a clarity video yeah. on that because if people see lower numbers on their mods, yeah, yeah, but at the same time, like if you if you actually are more into like the the, the math, if they maths all the accounting of things, uh, mods like bigger that have a prime version, for example, now are stronger because the bases are stronger. Mm. So there's there's some there's some winners there. Um, the 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 convergence point that's for that where kind of you start higher. So obviously, if you start higher and you end up at the same time, that means there's a point that you kind of start going lower. That point is uh, two Umbra mods at max. So, you know, just just for more nerdy. The Dev yeah. Workshop has a lot of maths in it. If you are interested, yes, in every Warframe at that. is yeah. statted out for you in mm -hmm. there. Yep. All 53. Oh, you know what I didn't mention on the companion one? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so obviously what you just saw also uh, it no, doesn't affect companions companion because companion ranks were so crazy. Yeah, the companion ranks were insane. So companions no longer have ranks, by the way. Uh, but they were stats fine. that scale with ranks, the to be clear. Stats. They still have ranks for your mod capacity. They just don't have scaling stats. Because only a few of them had it. it yeah. was, it was yeah. Anyways, uh, but uh, Link Vital they they had Link Vitality, but they also had the, the Vitality, I think it was called Enhanced Vitality. Correct. Uh, enhanced Vitality was really bad compared with uh, Link Vitality. There were no real scenarios where it was better. So now we bumped that up and it, it's changed in a way that... It's in the uh, I was in the workshop. Okay. Yeah. sure is. We have one of our It's time. useful sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Some mods are good sometimes. Yeah. The Warframe problem. Sometimes not. Yeah. We make them useful. All right, we're going to move on to break armor missions. If you're... Right. If you feel good yep. about yep. that? Okay. Moving on to break armor missions. We have some general... Quality of life changes, oh, as Taylor put it. Oh, Taylor, Taylor! <laughs> it hurts, it hurts. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to literally write or say what Taylor wrote because it's amazing. Which she mentioned, shout out to Scott, who submitted them uh, in perforce okay. as if Call was writing his own perforce CL. It uh, is okay. so Scott funny. <laughs> Scott, uh, Scott Mellinson. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, like he wrote his. In character, he check wrote in. It, yeah, it's oh so good. Okay. Or like inspired by. Sorry, Scott, All I didn't right. mean to call you out there. You're the best. So our quality of life changes for the break and armor missions are Call see more. Call now has loot radar and enemy radar. Call go fast. Call's max speed and overall walking speed has been increased. <laughs> Call earns stock. We've added stock pickups to break Narma missions, and Call will now find additional weapons next to his fallen brothers as a way to add more variety to overall gameplay. So nice. yep, yep, that's it. A little bit of a lift for our break Narma mm -hmm. uh, players. Yeah, I'll, I'll just elaborate a little bit on the stock one just because I, I know that's going to be a little more tricky. Essentially, if you guys, whenever you play a Cal mission, you're often like looking around for pickups or whatever to find them. So obviously now you have the loot radar, so that will make it easier. Mm -hmm. But even when you don't find one, now you'll find a little crate with a tiny bit of, of stock just mm -hmm. so that you get something when you're looking around and you don't feel like you just went down a, a corridor and got nothing for it. Essentially, mm -hmm. that's kind of the, yep. the vibe of it. Yep, there's five stock pickups per mission. All right, moving on. Nightwave changes. Yeah. Nightwave. Yeah. Nightwave changes. Come on, John just blitz through those. We're I'll blitz. running low on time. Three, two, one. We're adding three permanent weekly acts intended to be unlocked with regular Warframe gameplay. For the next series, we've done a complete act audit with the goal of reworking, removing, and adding new challenges to the system. Acts are getting changes that we felt reasonable to do. And so there is a dev workshop on this. There is a dev workshop that will list it all out. Uh, to reduce the grind, to complete some acts, and expand in the ways players can actually complete them. And for the first time when you log into Nightwave series, when we have a new one that pops up, you're going to get a screen that kind of highlights at a, a glance what Nightwave and can offer you. And it's all pictures, so you don't have to read it. No reading. Oh, no reading necessary. <laughs> yeah, so the TLDR there is permanent acts are in addition to everything else, and those are ones we think you can earn in the natural state of play just to make your life a bit easier to progress in Nightwave. 
Uh, sorry, no, they, they replace the, well, some weakness. Well, yes, so, but they're just always there. Yeah, they're always there. And the, the main idea is, like, we still like the Nightwave kind of makes you go to different parts of the game. But we thought it was too much that all the acts do that. So now three of them are basically things that you're going to get just by playing normally, <laughs> completing yeah, cool. missions, killing enemies, and whatever. So you'll basically get a little bit just from playing. And then the other ones are, like you know from before, essentially things that do make you go and do this particular go murder a thumper or whatever, right? So, yeah. so that's coming. Partial release. Some of it will be live in our Nightwave, like when this update yeah, goes like live. Yeah, uh, we can't change Nightwaves from like daily to weekly because then there's that standing issue if you're like currently mm -hmm. in the middle of a Nightwave. But we do have some uh, changes that will be coming in this update to current acts that just kind of change the requirement for them. So instead of getting, you know, 10, ac 10 of this, you got to just get five. Stuff like that, just to kind of reduce it. Yeah, I have in the notes that we removed 12 acts that we saw feedbacks as not being fun. Uh, we reduce the requirements on around 25 of them, mm -hmm. and there will be 14 new acts. Yeah, so the reduced requirement ones will be in this update. Other ones, when we do the next night wave. Yeah, which will be this year. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, d damage, damage attenuation. I'll just take this one pretty quickly. This is only in the context of Archons and Archon Hunts. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have damage attenuation, a.k.a. damage pillows, on these boss units, uh, which lead to like kind of two paths. If you don't have the build that one shots them, um, you're usually... I think you like to say chopping wood. Yep. You know, you're just <laughs> yep. shooting away, waiting for the damage pillars to kick in. Oh man! What we've done with the the initial goal was sometimes you can be in an archon fight for 25 minutes, depending on if you're playing with people that don't really know the meta. So we've just taken the damage pillow. If you like, this is a visual metaphor. Right now, it's like it lets this much damage in over the attenuation, and we've kind of made it like that. So we've just made it so that you'll be doing more damage to archons more frequently. The intention is to shave off. On average, if you're not using your one hit builds, um, shave off the time it takes to complete an Archon run. Uh, this dev workshop, it, it will be live after this. It'll go through how it's gonna impact the spread of ways that you deal damage to the Archons. Because right now, criticals roll after the damage attenuation. It's just kind of all over the place. Mm. So we're just you know, widening the gap so that people with, with high rate of fire weapons, with other things can do more damage. The pillows have essentially just been blasted to be more damage gets in. Damage is calculated to try and make them go faster for players that, you know, find find them a little too long, and mm -hmm. that's basically it. Basically it. All right, we'll move right along to barrel scaling. Pablo, you made a lovely video for us. <laughs> is that didn't even you? on this? <laughs> no, it's not. Scaling? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is actually going to save Warframe. This is the this is it. <laughs> this is the one we've been waiting Before, for. Before barrels were the worst. <laughs> Enemies would laugh at your barrels. Look at them laughing. They see your barrels. They don't care. Oh, but now they care. They Dead. do care. They scale. Oh. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> it's essentially that. You've, the, <laughs> the barrels were just kind of for funsies before, because uh, they didn't really do enough damage to have any impact to enemies. So now uh, they do. And it, depending on how close the enemy is to the barrel, sometimes they insta-kill, as you're seeing there. If they're a little further away, they, they take a lot of damage, but they don't, they don't fully die. Yeah, so uh, we'll be expecting barrel montages after this update <laughs> releases. We want to see your best barrel deaths. Yeah, take your barrel before videos now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll, we'll compare yeah. notes yeah. in October. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows what kind of gas is in those barrels, <laughs> am I right? They mock me, but I actually <laughs> really care about this stuff because I find like interactive things like that in levels are, are really cool. Oh, they're great. They're yeah. great. This yeah. is the best. Enemy yeah. scaling. This is the best yeah. day ever. People Not love so barrel, <laughs> barrel frame. This yep. is perfect. Barrel frame. Uh, all right. Going back to that comment we saw earlier about Incarnate Evolutions. If you're involved in the Incarnate system, you know that you pick a perk and you're set with that perk for right. life. Mm -hmm. You're locked in. Forever. Now, now you're not. Yeah, we basically made Can it so Danny? at least swapping them around, you can now do directly in the arsenal, so you don't have to go to Cavalero to swap them around. You still have to go to Cavalero to unlock, to install your mm -hmm. Incarnate Adapter. Essentially, anything that's like an actual progression of the uh, of the Incarnate system, you still have to visit Cavalero for him to help you out with this. But just to swap them around, you can now do it directly here at your convenience. Do the barrels do friendly fire? Oh. They do friendly fire, but it's extremely reduced. So you basically, it. it's, it's not impossible <laughs> for you to Scaling murder. Scaling friendly fire. Gotta be a gamer. Yeah. Gotta be a gamer. Uh, yeah. Speaking of being a gamer, if you are a gamer, you might have gone through Steel Path Circuit and gotten all your incarnates. So what's next for you? What else can you acquire? <laughs> well, if you're what ranked do? nine in the uh, Dewberry Opportunity, whoosh, there's new rewards. Not gonna lie, I picked mine already. Sorry, Pablo. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So basically, you can uh, if you get all the options for incarnons just as usual. Mm -hmm. But if you want, if you unlock that uh, that particular intrinsic, you can now select a, a ribbon instead, a ribbon or two instead. Basically, mm -hmm. there's the the three main types appear there for you to choose. So you have something to do once you went through all the incarnon adapters and you have them all. Yep. There you go. And that's it. We're done! That uh, part. Yeah. Oh, no. oh. Did, did we miss anything? You good? I got a few. Give oh, her. Yeah. Go. No, <laughs> I love it. I love it. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, we did oh, a pass no. on mod description uh, revisions. Basically, we changed about 50 mod descriptions to be more clear. Just things that were awesome. kind of confusing about how they worked before. 50 plus all the Bane mods also got touched. So it's a bunch of different mods that got, that got updated. Um, uh, the finisher types. Uh, so basically, uh, there's a lot of things like decrees and things like that, or an augment for in, in arrows that was tied to finishers that wouldn't trigger from mercy finishers or from ground finishers. Basically, we had like a distinction between finisher, uh, ground finisher, and mercy finisher. So now, uh, those all of those would respond to the same. Basically, they would trigger the same events, and also ground finishers will now deal true damage. So oh. they're quite a bit, uh, quite a bit stronger. It's a shame you changed <laughs> Hydroid's passive. It doesn't knock him down anymore. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Reaver, yeah. Reaver. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. get ground finisher. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. All right, uh, exclamation point system QOL if you would like a link to the dev workshop. That's like oh, legit I'll impressive, guys. Yeah, what do you mm -hmm. think? That's Are you sweating over there? You enjoy that? Actually, we're being reviewed yeah. right now. They are reviewing our work. Please, so. I, lo keep I love job. the person in chat, actually, I don't, who's like, game should have shipped this way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's 10 years ago, and it does I mean, it. It's hard to I mean, it doesn't quite work that way, <laughs> yeah. my friend. You can rework Hydroid if Hydroid doesn't exist. It's very difficult. I think the clarity is great, and the the changes yeah, of scaling. Really I'm impressive. very curious what will happen with builds with the changes of shield. Yeah, it seems shield very thing, significant. It is quite significant. Yep. And yeah. We'll obviously be watching, monitoring when this goes out. Yep. Love your constructive feedback. I yep. know we just put out five developer workshops, and I understand that's a lot. So if you just want to link to the developer workshop forums, you can do exclamation point workshop, and you can just see and this them all at a glance. Is it comes out next year? Oh, this comes out October 18th. <laughs> October 18th. No way. <laughs> oh my god. It can't come out that but wait, soon. Yeah. But wait, do you know what else? <laughs> There's more. Oh There's no. more. There can't be. Guys, there there is more. I'm We're not done. We're not done. Uh, also <laughs> coming with the Abyss of the Goth update on October 18th is Grendel Prime. Yeah. Oh, it has been so long. Our sweet baby Grendel. Come on over to you. Yeah. Oh, there he is. So cool. <laughs> oh, look at those tusks, baby. <laughs> look at those tusks. Oh my god, he looks so good. He is getting a prime trailer, uh, which will be yeah. launching closer. It's looking fun. And it's looking, it's looking very fun. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So we got Grendel yeah. Prime. Coming with Grendel Prime is the Xylock Prime, of course, and even more, of course, it's the potato uh, on a stick. <laughs> I'm so, Prime. I'm so glad this, look at that. this weird weapon look, got made. Look at it go. It's the most so insane, intricate melee it's, weapon we it's have. Amazing. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's like a rototiller. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is so good. So many times I tried to get this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also coming with Grendel is a Prime Sign Dana, the Sumba. Sumba Prime yeah. sign Dana, and the That's ephemera sweet. that you saw earlier is the Oni Prime ephemera, which is very dainty for our boy Grendel. No, I think it looks incredible. No, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's so good, yeah. And yeah. I also have some more fashion frame. Do you guys want to see it? Yes. yes. Okay, wait, don't uh, look at this one. Now. Don't look at this That's one. pretty cool. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> yep. It works Come for on, me. It works Jeff. for me. Jeff yeah. is pausing, though. Yeah, it looks, works for me. It looks like Midna yeah. colors from Twilight Princess. Yeah. Is that what it is? My girl. Oh, <laughs> my girl. Actually, don't know what it is. Oh, this was just like we can play the random colors. Wow. Oh, oh my god. OK. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't think so. Keep hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks incredible. Ooh, OK. That's more my, my style. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, there come on. There come is. on. Uh, but I did do a little bit of fashion frame with that Oni ephemera, because it honestly is very tasteful on a lot of frames. Oh. What do we think of her? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, that works. Yeah. That works well. Skyrus Drew and I buy a prime on my cast. Oh, <laughs> this is girl. that's awesome. This is the one frame that Skyrus complimented me on, and I'll never f stop saying that. Oh, thanks, Skyrus. <laughs> uh, so anyways, Oni ephemera works on some really nice ones, and another one of my favorites. Sorry, it's just Gauss with the deluxe <gasps> skin. Oh, he go fast. Look at him go. so good. Look at him go. Jeff? The skin looks amazing. Remember when I do like the skin. Do you remember when Homer made the makeup gun for Mars? <laughs> 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 well, I'm offended. Anyways, Grendel Prime gun. and all of those Prime 
additions will be coming with the Abyss of Vigoth update. Yeah, so that the day that update launches on all platforms, you'll be able to get your hands on all those changes, those five dev workshops, the brand new frame, the new uh, Abyssal Beacons, uh, sorry, <coughs> Treasure Map, tre Ghost Ship uh, Syndicate, uh, missions, Dagoth's dojo room, the frame herself, and then obviously Grendel Prime is launching. So if you want to support us with a Prime Access purchase with that meaty update, it'll be there for Ooh, you. Ooh, meaty Grendel. update. I like it's it. The meatiest update. Let's do <laughs> 1,000 Platinum before we talk about Whoa. cross save, shall oh. we? Oh, we're talking about cross save, we're talking about cross uh, there are no deluxe skins in this update. No, next it's update, next step, Sevagoth yeah. Deluxe. And I, when we get to the dev stream to talk about that, breaking, <laughs> You're excited? breaking news <laughs> about that. Is it the? No, I actually don't know. Breaking news about the Sevagoth Deluxe skin. Oh. It's, it's almost so cool. Is it's, it the fish? It's too cool. But the, no, no, it's not the fish. No. Oh, I shouldn't have said <laughs> anything. Stop, stop. Yeah, it's really Thousand cool. Planet was gone to. I shouldn't have Danny. Hey, Danny. Danny, is that Danny. you? Danny. <laughs> Danny. Danny 2007. 2007. Congratulations, you have won a thousand platinum. Please whisper the Warframe Twitch channel you're watching right now with your game alias platform play Warf Month, and we'll get you your one thousand platinum, Danny 2007. All right. <coughs> Show that asset that you know and love from Tenno Live. We did announce right. on Tenno Live that cross-platform save is coming in 2023. That is still the goal. That is still the plan. It's that still, is still 2023. It's it still 2023. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also mentioned during Ten Alive is that we were going to have some behind the scenes code that is in Abyss of Dagoth that is going to lead to the rollout of eventually cross safe. And one of those things is the clan system and how that's going to function overall. Yes, we're doing a merge so that we have you know a single source of truth for mm -hmm. clans and social uh, under the hood. And the Dagoth update will unify that. Yes. And I, there will be something the players notice, so I assume that's what we're going to talk that's about. That's what I'm about okay, to say. You go right ahead. For the Abyss of Dagoth <laughs> update, we are adding cross-play clan. So if you opt in, that's going to let you invite players from other platforms cool. to join your clan. It also shows if you have a clan advertisement on other platforms, they can see it, they can request to join your clan cross-play. Now, I know this is a cross-play feature, but like you said, it's part of a much larger initiative behind the scenes for cross-save when it comes to clans and comes to dojos. So there will be behind the scenes code mm -hmm. involved in that that is going to result in things later on, but this is kind of the first step yeah, as we hoist and yeah. move things around. Uh, we have nothing to share on uh, trading or merging right now. We're going to need more time to give you the true facts versus what we think we are going to do. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Is it cross the cross uh, play friend stuff isn't in this one either, is it? I thought the friends list was. I thought the friends that might, might be. be it's at least setting the stage for it. Like yes. we are. I've are seen it in. I've seen it being tested. Plans anyway, are, right? yeah, it is yep. being tested right now. Yep. Cross play, cross platform friends. Yeah. is being tested right now. Mm -hmm. yep. It will be coming. I'm not sure if it's in this update, mm -hmm. but yep. this is. We need this update to get there. Yep. So that's the point. Making yep. steps. We are making steps. Yep. All right. Shall we do a Wisp Prime access yeah. before we yeah. move on to what's next? Wisp Prime access. I don't know. Any news on Warframe for Android? Nope. Uh, can't wait. My PC <laughs> is moist and ready. <laughs> <laughs> you must be a Hydroid player. Not Check a, your cooler. Not in a puddle, though. <laughs> Check your cooler. Oh, no puddle. <laughs> yeah, no puddle, Pablo. No puddle. R.I.P. R.I.P. All right, Wisp Prime access is going to the lucky Twitch viewer of... I can't read that. Drag... Drag Thorth? Drag Thorth? So I got a list. Drag Thorith. Drag Thorith. Who's Drag Thorith? Underscore. Congratulations, you won a Wisp Prime. Drag underscore. <laughs> you won a Wisp Prime access. Please whisper the Warframe Twitch channel you're watching right now with your in-game alias platform play Warframe on, and we'll get you your Wisp Prime access. Hey, in the next step stream, it'll be Grendel Prime. Hey! hey. All right. There's a reason why these two individuals are here. We what? have a word from our sponsors. What did you just say? I thought we were going to be a dagger. She's so cool, eh? I've seen lots of daggers. I know you have. Yeah, seen yeah. yeah. I'm super excited about it. We're excited. I'm just yeah. very curious what, what's going to happen with the meta, with the, these quality life changes. Will you join my so clan? Cool. Will no. you guys join my clan? No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. And now a word from our colors. sponsors. Soul Frame. Take it away, boys! Oh my god, that is so <laughs> outrageous. Yeah, that's Why not? <laughs> Why not? Because Warframe yeah. is funding the yeah, Warframe our sponsor. development, so it's quite the opposite. <laughs> yeah, but you funded this dev Do you have oh, gummy worms? Yeah, no. you don't have to give me the worms back. Give me the, you get the worms. Okay, okay, here you go. Danny? You caught them that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we don't have a lot to say about uh, Soul Frame, but we have a little bit to say about it. Yeah. yeah. So, how's yeah. it going? <laughs> you put the music video live. Uh, if you go to our yes. YouTube page, Exclamation uh, point SF music will take you right there. Yep. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so the beautiful uh, song at the at the climax of our live demo at TunnelCon, mm -hmm. uh, people a lot of people were requesting the song, mm -hmm. so you can get it today and uh, loop it on YouTube. Yeah, please go listen. It is beautiful. Please go listen, and uh, you know, what do they say? Smash the th buttons on the <laughs> smashing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah crush those yeah. buttons between your thick thighs. Whoa! Oh, whoa. And, uh, and uh, you know, we're going to be putting up. Uh, I think we have an animation. Uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully do a regular check-in with some of the developers on kind yeah. of the progress of the game that yeah. we can give insight to. Progress of the game, you yeah. say. Yeah. yeah, and if you yeah. if you want, there's some people just are like, shut up and tell me when the game's out. Obviously, this channel's not going to be for you because <laughs> we're a, a bit of ways out mm. working on the game still. The mm -hmm. YouTube channel. The YouTube channel and the game itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 When is this but, game coming? Uh, when is this free game coming? Uh, but, but uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, so we have, also we've got the Discord. Uh, Exclamation is, point, I'm SF joining. Discord, yep. want to join. Exclamation SF Discord. So Sarah's in there now. So Sarah's, Sarah's in, in there. there waiting yep. to chat, and uh, Jeff and I are going to. Dude, it's almost 4 o'clock. OK, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. before Jeff's nap, <laughs> he's going to jump into the Discord, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll be in Discord uh, for the next few hours answering questions that you might have if you're interested in Soul Frame. I'm in it. Uh, I know there's not uh, a lot to go on yet, and uh, we're, again, we're still early, so if you are, just shut up and uh, wake me up when the game comes out, then this isn't for you, but if you want to... Oh my god, there's people in there! You want to be early in there, <laughs> come, come by and we'll talk to you. Uh, and then lastly, I think, which is a little more um, nerve-wracking... Scary and exciting. ...and dramatic yeah. is... Um, well, I suppose in the same way that we built Warframe, we'd like to build Soulframe uh, with some of you. Uh, and that means that uh, in December, we are going to be offering... Well, we're hoping for December. <laughs> in December. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> in, in December. <laughs> uh, it say what, in December, a I very... I broke Discord. <laughs> it's too fast. Okay, well, we'll put slow mode on. Yeah. In December, uh, we're going to start um, kind of raffling off uh, slots to play the basically the Preludes version of Soul Frame, which is the prototype. Pre, 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 pre alpha. You thought uh, mm -hmm. the beta tag on Warframe was a joke. Well, this alpha tag is not <laughs> a joke. Uh, and so I think uh, this is going to be PC first. The, obviously, the game is going to be on many, many platforms. But during this preludes phase, uh, just for the iteration time, uh, we're going to be inviting small groups of people to come in mm -hmm. and give us feedback on really simple stuff like, you know, how does the melee combat work, the parry system. Yep. You can run through, you'll be able to run through um, what is essentially what you saw in the TunnelCon demo and play that boss fight mm -hmm. and explore the Undercity and take a look at uh, the Midrath Isle, uh, play some songs and meet uh, yep. little Avocat, our little <gasps> sneezing plant uh, sprout folk. Helping us test out some loops. So again, yep. if you're not, if you don't want to see how the sausage is made and see a whole bunch of like broken whip stuff, this is definitely not something you want to be involved in. Um, we'll probably be taking um, slots from people who signed up and reserved their Envoy title preferentially from early, and then we'll just kind of be doing them in, in pockets. So uh, it's not going to be a huge group, um, but I would like to, if we can, can we invite someone from chat maybe and give them an opportunity we as well do to, be the, to be the first into the preludes <gasps> in December. -ish. All right, if you sell this on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a Soul Frame Key Twitch picker. Now, it's obviously not going to do anything right now for you, but yep. we will get you to get whisper info, us. Yeah. We'll get your email. We'll get it all yep. sorted out yep. so that you will be uh, in that is alpha it, alpha. Is it going to be multiplayer? Uh, yes, yes, <gasps> yes. yes. So player yeah. King. Yes. Player King X47, the first. <laughs> what? <Wow. laughs> All right, very important. Player the first, I can't Come believe on, it. really? That's ridiculous. That's amazing. <laughs> Please whisper the Warframe Twitch channel you're watching right now. We need your email. We're going to chat with you. We'll get yep. all the information That's we need cool. from you. And then we'll obviously be in connection with you when it gets closer to this alpha. Day. That's right. And it, again, <laughs> if you were a console player, my apologies. The cert stuff does kind of make it a bit of a barrier for us to do this kind of preludes prototype. Mm -hmm. So this is going to start on PC, and then we're going to open it up to more platforms. Obviously, our intention is to be on those uh, consoles as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to, I mean, we started talking about how happy TanoCon made us just to be back in person with our community. Uh, we're really, like, it's 
October next week, and we have a great Warframe update. Soulframe is going to be kicking off with this pre 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 pre, pre alpha. <laughs> uh, and then the correct number. Of course, we yep. will have a um, October dev stream and a November dev stream, both of which will be looking towards Whispers in the Walls, which mm. is releasing this year for Warframe as well. So mm -hmm. you're getting a content drop in October, and then the next major one will be uh, in December, probably. Don't quote me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you see the YouTube, the Nine Inch Nails? I probably shouldn't you, have said December. YouTube. I don't think I was supposed to say anything. Uh oh. I mean, Oops. Oops. Now nah, you're fine. <laughs> Maybe it's November and I'm lying. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Anyways. Under promise, over deliver. Nope. All right. <laughs> we made it under two hours. Oh, great. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> it's only 3.53. We have seven minutes. What do you want to film? Yeah, what do you want to do? I'm going to fill do? my diaper because I really <laughs> have to <laughs> 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 Sorry, sorry. All right. Uh, Dave, do you mind just re doing the Abyss of Degoth slide? Just that the big re And we'll just really, really quickly recap. <gasps> oh, my God. People are going to want shield blessings now. For <laughs> oh? Oh, <laughs> oh, legendary people. <laughs> Progress. All right, yes. just to <laughs> recap everything we just talked about, not soul frame. Uh, update 34, Abyss of Dagoth, Dagoth, launching October 18th, our 54th Warframe, her new w melee weapon, the door clave, clave, whatever. Uh, Dagoth, <laughs> the game, whatever. Line. Alt helmet, Kate Cosmetics, Dojo Room, we got Void Shell skins, we got Knights of Nabra stuff. All of that quality of life that you <laughs> listen to us talk about, show you, is all coming. So Those reworks cool, so. is all are all coming. Grendel Prime and all that great stuff. So that is all October 18th, coming to you live, all platforms. We'll see you then for that. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a crazy update, uh, and I want to thank the it team is. because yeah, thank you like, to the team. we made this, uh, the whole team made this, and obviously we're just kind of here showing you the, the work like of always. a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, the, this update had worked at Sinta and Asterogos were being worked on, mm. and as the, the later update of uh, Whispers of the Wall is coming, so it's crazy the, the amount of work that they put in. Yeah, and, and just thank you, people have been making just I incredible decisions and contributions to the team so very happy to see everyone working together to give the community some cool updates it's just been it's been a great time and i'm very happy and i hope everyone enjoys yeah. what's coming so october is going to be a big month 10 vip see in vegas if you're there we got quest conquer cancer campaign lots of streams coming your way we got the big update coming so october is going to be a juicy juicy month uh, no, How juicy? It. Bursting? No, oh. disgusting. <laughs> we'll be bursting with juice. All right, that's it for us. See you in two hours for prime time. Thank you. <laughs> 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 it's actually true. It's actually true. Why do we just keep going? No, no, Stay no, here. Not, oh wait, no. people are saying how we're gonna get God for prime. Barrel will have it eventually. Oh, Barrel sir, Katir. yes. I yeah. had <laughs> that noted, and I completely doesn't. I got you. Bear yeah. Katir will have the God for prime, as he usually will have the ten of con uh, items. All right, that's finally it. Jeff, thank you for being here. Steve, thanks for being here. Pleasure. Great shirt. Oh, Reb, thank thanks you. for being here. Great hat. Yep. Pablo, thanks for being here and wearing nice pants. pants. Nice <laughs> pants. <laughs> Danny, thank you for running the stream. Danny, catch! Danny. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. All right, we will see you in two hours for prime time. Bye, everybody! Thanks. Thank you.